Tell me, O oh muse, of the many heroes from many places who wandered the many ways of the sacked sacred city of Ardenvall. All right, uh, let's get started then. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 61st expedition of the Arden Vulgaris campaign. It is the first of Ligarius. It is a new month. And also, it is Mitra's Day, my dudes. So, uh, nice. who do we who do we have playing today? Hi, uh, I'm Casper. I'm playing Gavdos Turius. Uh, he's a jolly old Imperialite wizard. Nice. Uh, I'm Ed. I'm playing uh, Contact Grass Spirit, the level 3 buffing thief. Uh, he's bringing Ganadria, the witch, today, and Summer Cheeks, the halfling drifter. Nice, nice, nice. Hello, I'm Lauren. I'm back with, well, is it, are we going to say, is it Taliana or Talania? What do we, what do we want? I thought it was Tali Taliana. I thought it was Thalania. It's time when we're all way off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you, is it no. Taliana? Yeah. Okay, Taliana. All right. The L cup. The L comes before the I. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Whatever. Oh yeah. I see. There's an um, I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Whatever. Tally. Tally is good enough. And yeah, I'm. I'm happy Tally. to be back. Well, let's go adventure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. So, I believe Casper's starting in Gosterwick. Everyone else is in Goblin Town. Mm-hmm. My bad. <laughs> yeah. How dare you be a longtime viewer, first time caller? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to head to Goblin Town. And sorry, to uh, Gostwick and uh, grab mm -hmm. uh, Gav, Gavdos, is it? Yeah. Gavdos. And, yeah. Um, and, ask and then I think, I think the idea is we're going to have a little mooch around west of the pyramid, right? Was that? Yeah, kind of agreed around the surface. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Show you have lost the ropes, maybe mm -hmm. try not to get yeah. too much trouble, just enough trouble to get Taliana some experience. Yep, <laughs> maybe really take a cheeky level. peek into a trapdoor if we get a chance. Yeah, yeah. Really. Get... yeah, try and avoid any dragons and so forth. But I guess, first of all, we better get to Gostawick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have some torches if we need to burn them to get to the surface. Yes, you do. I, I have. Well, can I add you light torch? She can, okay. She can, she yeah. Can, uh, she Let used a torch. Witch. Earning her keep use... already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use that two torches. Okay. Up you go to the surface. It is partly cloudy today. Um, I'd like to remind you that when it's partly cloudy, that's typically when it is hunting time for the dragons mm -hmm. however uh on this day um you do not need to spot where um our boy craston or is uh craston or strex or craston sorry craston is craston is Isterex is actually how you, whatever it doesn't crass uh he That's crass is actually uh currently hanging out at uh the estate on the other side of town hmm what what to the northeast Correct. Oh, the place, the place where we told the Priscians Prisci about, right? Yes, the at the interested ru the interesting ruined estate belonging to Isadora of the Sorcians. Can we, uh, from a distance, can we tell what he's he's doing? Is he just circling around the estate? Is he is he? Oh no 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 no! He's up on the battlements, or like like in the like he's he's hanging out there. Uh, he doesn't. He seems to be. I don't know. It's really kind of hard to necessarily understand if dragons are talking or just yelling or whispering. But yeah, they're, he's not attacking, right? I think that's maybe the ah, most important part. He's demanding his tribute. Perhaps. Yeah. He's either yeah, he's either negotiating with the Priscians or he's waiting them for to reemerge, yeah. and he's going to take the treasure. Mm -hmm. It maybe maybe an epic battle would result, and we'd be able to snatch so. up. Right. Well, it was left, but uh, well, dash straight sure. to his lair. Yeah. Mm. Well, maybe he wants uh, to, I don't know. It's very, it's very, it's very tempting. But I think we should at least go and get Gavdos first, and maybe see what's mm -hmm. happening. In the yeah. Back. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. On the way up through the ruined plaza, you're gonna pass by a bunch of angry centipedes, but they have nothing to do with you. Uh, okay. they're just angry. 
and uh, down we go to the stairs. Okay, uh, there's just a bunch of goats hanging out. And, uh, nothing of uh, shove off goats, go away. Do, yeah. do, you, do we recognize these goats? Are these the same goats we always see, or can we? Are we not? No, nah, these are new goats. Does anyone have a background in goat herding? Nope, yeah. just hunting them, not herding them. Okay. Uh, Econde was okay. a herbalist in a former life, so. Down we go. Down we go to Gosterwick. You get your new recruit. Mm -hmm. All the all that hiring, all that extra money to be promoted on LinkedIn is. Uh, hang on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't believe Calamaros sent me out down here to collect this newbie. <laughs> <laughs> well, he swans it about down in the troll markets. Oh. We need more wizards. This is a good idea. It is a good idea. We don't have any wizards. All our wizards are. Hey, he's making the new character. <laughs> you're, like, you're talking about <laughs> dead wizards. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. There's okay. just a rosy faced uh, old wizard looking at a notice board with a help wanted sign. <laughs> mm. like he's, he's pretty old, Sally. I think he'll, he'll probably get on with Calabanos. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I guess we introduce ourselves and do right. whole. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, on passant, we on our we're on our way um, mm -hmm. back up the long stairs, I presume, up to the surface where yeah. we're gonna be mm -hmm. looking at the west stuff. Great. Yeah. Well, um, as above, uh, so is below. The long stairs are clear. You weren't that long for anything to really mm -hmm. significantly change. Perfect. Up, you all go uh, to Ardenful. Yeah. Do we want to go from the ruined plaza across through the palace, or do we want to take the long way around over the remaining bridge to the south? Skirt no, the I swamp. Think we should, we've never really been across this bridge. Okay. Into into the ruined yeah. palace, right? So mm -hmm. I think we should. I mean, we could maybe. Hmm, I mean, Just we, run we could maybe go off road. Rather than going for the boulevard, we could maybe go off road. Oh yeah, there is something. The and just because we yeah, haven't really been, been around here either, right? Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. You never know. Well, we, might, we, might, we might see an interesting trap door or a, mm. a ruined room oh. that tempts us. A couple things on the map that look like there might be something there. So, yeah. So, if we just go off road from the obelisk and head north, there's something that looks almost like a temple sketch. Yeah. It does, right? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's head along <laughs> that way and then we can go across. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so I guess Kondak will, 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 doesn't mind leading the way as, as a thief to try and keep his eyes out, and then okay. Taliana kind of covers me with yep. her bow, mm -hmm. Gavdos in the middle, and then we'll have, I guess, uh, Ganadria and uh, Summer Cheeks, good old reliable Summer Cheeks, uh, mm -hmm. bring it, bringing up the rear. And we'll go, we'll go off road a little bit, keeping our eye out for baboons, sure. centipedes, and other yeah. such critters. I don't right. think of anything of interest that grabs our eye. Um, you guys get past the plaza and the obelisk um, before you get to the bridges and stuff like that, and where you uh, were looking for the torso and like the that kind of area. Mm -hmm. uh, this is sort of angry centipede country that I was alluding to earlier. Hmm. Um, so a thorough search would no doubt run you uh, a foul with them, if that's what you want to do. And what kind of numbers are we seeing? Uh, you're looking at more than five, less than 20. Are they clustered around something particularly interesting, or are they just kind of scrambling around the ruins? Nah, scrambling around, which is why the numbers are hard to mm. fixate. Uh, I'll be more generous, since you guys are scanning here. I would say... Uh, more than nine, less than fifteen. Hmm. Um. Well, maybe we should give them a wide berth because I, I don't really want us to use all of our resources no. straight away no. fighting centipedes. Like, even though it's, even though they're not that tough, you know, nine of them. There's only five of mm -hmm. us. One of yeah. them is not yeah. really going to do anything. So maybe we, we should skirt around. We we could head. Do we want to head ah. for this bridge, or do we want to head across this bridge here? We never. The oh. lower bridge. Seems to have a bit more ominous uh, markings near it, 
right? Only madness and all of that. Yeah, I don't know if that refers to the ruined palace or, or yeah. the, the whole the island as a whole. Um, I mean, it could be worth it. I think this uh, yellow circle here is supposed to be the point you found on a map, right? Uh, at the center of three obelisks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we heard a rumor there's like a, a third obelisk, I think, uh, at the tip of this island. Uh, I mean, it would be handy to find that. Um, and I presume this is just the, the midpoint extrapolating. Um, but I don't, think, I don't think we have any idea what it signifies particularly. And maybe, maybe we could go there and, and see if we can see, get any okay. clues about that, and, and uh, scamper away from these um, uh, centipedes. Hmm. We could go to the up, yeah. across the room plaza, and we could then go and see, come up to the water's edge and try and spy. Yeah, oh, would you? Okay. Would you? Yeah, want my, to go to the room plaza, then, yeah. Yeah, would, to be yeah I don't know. Hold on. I just wanted to be clear about like traversing with the centipedes and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, and you guys can go anywhere with safety as long as you're not just sticking around kind of the room plaza searching area. But going mm -hmm. to A to B, any of these mm -hmm. places is fine, right? I we can just assume that you're gonna just give them a wide berth and blah blah blah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So we should we, we head down this? Should we head to this bridge down here then instead? Yeah, sure. We'll do this. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, the southern right. bridge. Yeah, the southern bridge is a footpath. Um, it is an iron bridge, uh, sorry, a foot bridge, uh, made of iron, um, in like very sound, uh, quality and structure, uh, unlike the iron corroded bridges southern, uh, on the south of the dam. Mm -hmm. So, um, they're very sturdy. So no, no sweat crossing them, but, uh, they don't look like they've been used very much. Um... Does someone want to hold my legs <laughs> while I while I have a look underneath it? Sure. Definitely. You never know. There might be something. You never know. Sure. Okay. Like a troll? That's the thief. There might be a monster under there, but maybe there's maybe someone's hidden something yeah. under there. I don't know. I, I, I sure. like to appear under under the bridge. Is this sort of bridge where, you, where it's kind of you can see under it? I yeah, grab definitely. One and kill. And gesture to Thaliana. Yeah. I can grab the other lake. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh you you just see uh corrosion uh corrosion pits and stuff like that as the of the bridge in its age. No treasure, no monsters. Just Okay. The ravages of time. A, Which is itself a, a monster in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, Worth a check. Uh, for sure. My Fifi, Fifi instincts yeah. were, were tingling. Just no. a, I'm just wondering uh, what's condition than the other than the other bridges. Yeah. But general, uh, general like ambiance over here. Uh, you can hear frogs going off. Um, at, maybe not like in your ear, but you know, just ambiance and kind of in the general distance <laughs> or so. Um, other than that. Maybe like the occasional sting of or uh, droning of a sting bat. I was gonna say sting of a sting bat, but that isn't. <laughs> <That's, laughs> no, you have to roll for that. Um, okay. So from the, from the bridge, can we see anything uh, swimming about in the in the big lagoon swamp thing? No. Um, the, in the big lagoon, I mean, you might see like the, the occasional crocodile or something like that, but nothing super close. Nothing that mm -hmm. uh, you should no, like, be concerned of. There's none of them so basking. You know, nothing like that. Okay. There's no like structures in there, you know, like little islands or anything in on the surface. No. Shipwrecks but, um, or no. like above the surface, you know. No, the uh the area across this bridge is by and large uh just layers of, of rubble. You know. This place ha more than a lot of the spots near the temple is like especially kind of leveled. And do we get a kind of overview from on top of the bridge? Mm, not exactly. Um, it's not that tall of a bridge or anything like that. 
but you can see that okay. there's not there's not a lot of structures to be examined um down here in the the southern part of this uh mm. ruined palace uh, again this place seems to be like almost the epicenter of where uh, of the destruction from very long okay. ago because we we've, we've sort of observed that the the, the it, there was like a blast right or something that kind of radiated outwards would, more or less say yeah. this was the center would we say this is possibly the center point of that Possibly, yeah. Potentially, hmm. um, makes sense. But it's all just—it's all just collapse rubble. Correct. Okay. I mean, I've got a pickaxe, but I'm, I'm guessing it's—it's it's going to take more than a pickaxe. To... <laughs> yeah. It's just start uh, shifting this. Um... Yeah. The the symbols from the reliquaries uh, point to a giant pile of rubble. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe we should just try and skirt around the ruined palace. Yeah. Yeah. We head to the west head... side and come over that bridge. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to take a look at the ruined palace, or are we 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 given up a wide berth on this occasion? We could have a look. Okay, well, we're here. Let's go and have a closer look to it. Well, let's have a mooch. I mean, just have a look from the outside. Maybe there's... Yeah, we, we don't have to go in. in. If there's a way in, or if it's possible mm -hmm. to, like... Like you suggested earlier, on, like, skirt around it. Because yeah. this, this obelisk, if it's at the tip of the island, like, mm -hmm. it'd be good to establish yeah. that we have to go through the palace to get to it, or is there a way to follow the, the river without actually going mm -hmm. inside? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so this place... Yeah. Right. So the, the palace on the north side of this island, um, at once it may have been like a four like spired, um, or sorry, a three, it's a three domed four story tall, uh, like mega structure, uh, in its day. Um, however, uh, maybe three fourths of it is in absolute ruin. The only thing that really is standing up at all, uh, is the, uh, more of like the Eastern wing of this place that has some semblance of, of particular structure uh integrity the eastern side of um, yeah uh the the perimeter and the walls and the fences and stuff like that are quasi intact like maybe like 10 percent 15 percent uh so really they're not <laughs> um but the good news then is that you can kind of just crawl over the rubble uh to get mm -hmm. in to to traverse the uh the remains here is there a, is there an obvious kind of ingress into this? Can we can we get in inside, or is it would we, we, would we have to crack, crawl through the rubble to get? Closer? Yeah. Um. So there's, so there are there are a few uh the doors that are still up and remaining that are clearly like oh these were like magical, reinforced kind of doors, right? Okay. But do, do, do they do they lead? to anything or they just when you say they're just kind of standing are they oh they know yeah they don't lead to anything they're just still standing no, because yeah. they were magical basically. yeah exactly yeah. so like just imagine like all of this rubble and then this perfectly framed like black iron door <laughs> is like still there yeah 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 and so the, and then the eastern so this 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 the more intact eastern part of it is uh yeah that's definitely still traversable is there a um, way to, to get in there an obvious way yeah for sure um, so there's at least like where windows and things would be and half walls uh, you could kind of crawl in here. Um, you're definitely picking up that the eastern side of the building was probably like of this palace was not the administrative side. This is like either you know residential, private. Mm -hmm. Does it look like there's a there's a way to skirt around the perimeter to get to that point we marked on the on the yeah the obelisk oh be? yeah yeah sorry yeah 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 you can just kind of mm -hmm. um you it would okay yes you can definitely walk around the rubble but you're definitely going to have to try to traverse the rubble at, uh, at a couple parts just because uh the wall and the erosion from the like the cliff side and stuff like that you're going to get it's going to get kind of precarious but um mm. no checks or anything like that but I'm just letting you know that you'll be kind of walking over some yeah. rubble. Okay. I think that sounds sounds fine. And uh, 
in yeah. terms of an obelisk, right? Is that something we can see as we get closer, uh, like past the palace? Or? Yeah. Um, are you walking around the palace uh, longwise, so like clockwise around or counterclockwise? Are, are we going Wittershin, so like to the right to get up to where you would believe I was it or to the left? thinking it, we were going counterclockwise. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't have to make it even all the way past the, the walls and the ruins to really start making out that, yeah, there is a, indeed um, a fragmented uh, obelisk back here. Hmm. Only a 10-foot stump uh, remains. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So you can kind of imagine you all have to kind of clamber up maybe a little bit of the, the wall ruins. Uh, at the front here, and as, you, as soon as you get pop up there, you can see that, like, oh, there's sort of a, um, I don't uh, know, like, 20 feet wide kind of open area that's kind of, that was walled at some point, and now, again, it's, like, half walled, and in there is, uh, yeah, this obelisk. Now, you can't make out anything on it from, from your distance here, but it definitely looks and smells and walks like an obelisk. Um, uh, I would like, to, I mean, I would like to creep a bit closer, and I want to see if it's got a slot for the for that totally. Hunk, hunk. But if no one else wants to, if if you guys want to hold hold back in case something <laughs> jumps yeah, out, I'll be ready. I'll be ready yeah. with an arrow. So if something does jump out, I'll yeah. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll shoot it. Cautiously mm -hmm. move through the rubble, you know, sneak in like a thief. Yeah. Um. Kondak, you'll definitely get the impression that like, oh yeah, this place is clearly surrounded for a reason. Like this was a private kind of area, right? Mm. Um, yeah, but as you sneak, you can definitely see there's inscriptions that still remain, um, on the bottom of the obelisk. So that's probably uh, helpful. Um, I guess so. yeah. that will be a Mithric though, right? I don't, I can't speak Mithric. Does, can any of us speak Mithric? I, oh, I wizard. Have... Okay, okay, I've my there's a, I can, yes. So uh, maybe if, if the coast looks clear, I'll beckon the rest of the party to. Uh, I should be more clear, actually, what the um, obelisk is in. Um, you know what? You know why this is a private area? Because it looks like even today that it was some kind of garden. Not that like it's manicured hedges and things like that of mm -hmm. that nature, right? It's just that oh, like it's at this point we're like in practically June of the year. It is in like full bloom of. You know all these various flowers and uh, you know flora. Okay. Um, so it's like slightly, di maybe slightly different flora than what we, we would see. Yeah, it's way too prettier, like a combination of pretty flowers that are just growing yeah, randomly. It's probably like some stone benches or like mm -hmm. stuff like that. Something so. like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, if the coast is clear, the rest of the party won't yeah. join me. It'd be good to to read what's on this well. obelisk. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, is the coast clear? Uh, depends on how afraid of you are, how at this point in your life, how afraid of you are plant, of plants you are, you know, um, <laughs> after I'm pretty, I mean, well, to be honest, I don't think any of the characters in this party were there when it wasn't Kondak. It was Kalamanos. It's Kalamanos. Yeah. Oh, Kalamanos was at the, he got, grabbed, mm -hmm. he got grabbed by one of the vines. He oh, sorry. I thought it's drink, mm -hmm. drink, drink. Yeah. I thought it was Kondak. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I misremembered. Yeah, this is kind of interested in the flowers to be honest he, he's yeah. like, oh I, i'm quite the gardener myself uh, uh, there's nothing to be worried about yeah. and he kind oh, of pushes very... spots toward towards contact yeah you could, you could definitely pick you. these <laughs> these would look very nice uh as in a bouquet in the uh vulgarian uh halls if you wanted them yeah. i mean he might put one behind his ear yeah Oh, beautiful. There's a... Uh, yeah, so so back here you can see that there is a pair of double doors that are leading into an intact structure uh, that doesn't have a roof. But, um, yeah. All right, so you're checking out the... But you're, you're checking out the obelisk. If yeah. Gavdos could do that, well, Conduct keeps an eye out if anything pops totally. out of these uh, doors yeah. or any of these plants start moving in ways that plants yeah. shouldn't. Totally, totally. So uh, if you recall, all of the obelisks have sort of the same sort of base foundation patterns of 
um, Arcantian soldiers and dragons and stuff. But then um, you're getting about two feet of, oh, this is the space where there's sort of like where you would find like, oh, yeah, is, it, is there a space for a key as well as sort of a little bit of the um, art that goes above that sort of gives you the motif of what the obelisk is. And like just okay. just barely, there's like a, just a, that faintest hint of phases of the moon. Uh, you know, there's like a C and a, mm. a circle and, you know, the lunar iconography here is, uh, you know, um, you know, your or the lunar, uh, lunar, uh, was like semi, was it semiotics? It's uh, just yeah. enough. Interesting. And are there any actual runes or, or uh, mythic writing visible? Um, I have to double check. I think on the bases there's, there is, um, but other than that, it's, it would be the same as that would, you would find on the other, uh, obelisks. Mm -hmm. And there definitely seems to be a, a slot, uh, potentially yeah. for an egg. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I mean... Maybe Kondak, you could give me some information about these obelisks. Sorry. But uh, sorry, the previous one was like a yeah, sorry, a silver uh, rank or something. Yeah, yeah. So we found, uh, I think, uh, Ulf, who I haven't seen for for a long time, uh, he found a silver rank, and he put it in. He he inserted it into one of the obelisks. Uh, nothing, uh -huh. nothing, anything, nothing, anything happened, but it it was an exact fit. And then we went to observe the other obelisk, which is on the other side of the swamp, and that also had a slot for for silver rock. So uh, we we think that. In fact, have we found two. I could. We might even found two silver onks. I can't remember now. Oh, let me let me add some anyway. context to this because running above where the onk shape uh, could fit in, still visible despite the breaking of the of this obelisk, uh, reads in Mithric, which I assume you all can read. Mm -hmm. Well, I think yeah. Gavdos can Gavdos read. I definitely yeah. can, yeah. Yeah, it says, The beacon shall be revealed to those who bring midday life to the sun, the moon, and the stars. And this one has got, uh, it's got the moon, it's got lunar iconography on it, right? Correct. So, I okay. guess if we, if we put the onks in here, I, I, I feel like we also tried to put the same onk in the, in the other obelisk, and it also went into that slot as well so mm. it, it maybe it doesn't really matter what type of onk you put in there but maybe it's a, a time of day you put it in there but i think if you put it in all three of them and have, something's uh, going to happen but have you found any other onks that at all maybe of different materials we've we've only found i think one silver onk uh, one mm. silver one Okay. Yeah, and I think we've left that. I think that has just been left in the obelisk, as far as I can mm -hmm. remember. Once we slotted it in, it was. In there. Um, well, we'll have to keep our eye out for more. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The, these double doors that lead into the palace. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, can Kondak creep up to them and see if they're locked? Can, is there any way to peer through them? Are they are they solid doors or have they got? Were they broken glass or something? That maybe you could peer through the flat frames. Or um, you're definitely getting the impression that this place was for um light to to come in, kind of almost like a quasi inside greenhouse kind of situation. Mm. But um, to peer in from these double doors, no. Um, these definitely are one of those sets of uh, magical doors I was alluding to earlier. Mm. Um, do they look like the doors at the Tower of Scrutiny? Do they have kind of what? Oh, what? no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, no, these are just a, a pair of plain double doors. Uh, so they do not have, um, like Ibis and Ankh iconographies on them. They just look like they're resilient metal. You can tell from here that they're locked, yeah. They are locked. Yeah. Uh, just before we leave the obelisk, I think Gavdos is going to reach into the slot and see if there's a Ankh already in there. I mean, you guys left one in, in the other obelisk, right? That's a good, good idea. Nope, it is empty. Uh, 
Okay, well then, if you're looking at these doors, Gavdos will just get in a position to cover you. Do we, do we want to open these doors? Don't have to open these doors. Hmm. I mean, yes. And just open them and peek inside. If anything comes out, then yeah, we'll deal with it. But we okay. we want to peek inside. We don't necessarily want to go, but we do. Yeah, want I'm to... gonna as quietly as possible try and yeah. get these doors open, and then mm -hmm. have a cautiously peek inside to see mm -hmm. what's in there. If it's anything of interest. Totally. Okay. Uh, with time tools and training, it's easy. Find a way that you can probably open the doors. Um, on your mark when you're comfortable you will crack open the door to kind of get a look inside mm. and uh, inside this wing of, of this place uh, you can see that um, the outside is not the only garden okay uh, you know there's a riot of plant life in here mm. um, vines and Flowers and stuff are growing all over um, the inside of this area. You can tell it's it's smothering furniture, um, everything alike in here. And does it seem natural? I mean, is it ivy and things like that? Or yeah, um, hmm. it's as na it looks as as natural as the garden behind you, right? So plenty of ivy vines striking through, but occasionally like these bright flowers. We hear any uh, any sounds, and then they're no. moving around in there. It's as quiet as the damn grave. Quiet as the grave. It's not. Is it giving us? Are we getting undead vibe? Are we getting there's any bad smells coming up? <laughs> yeah. Does it sm <laughs> smells of death? No. I think the lineage will pick up a rock. No. It smells of loam. You know, like it smells like okay. garden. Pick up a small rock, and I'm gonna skip it inside. See if it anything reacts. Sure. Skip, skip, skip. Yep. Uh, skip goes through the vines. Nothing. <laughs> what we could, what we could do is, I should just remembered, we have actually hired a witch with a familiar, right? Yes. Uh, it just says a small animal. Which be, uh, uh, can I choose which animal it is, or does she? Do you choose what animal it is? Uh, you can choose, and we, we can just agree that that's the one that they would choose for you. Uh, I mean, I would go with a a, a, a bird or a, maybe a bat. Mm. I think I a bird's like a bird. Yeah. Yeah. A bird. Maybe a swallow or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, right. so we're gonna ask the to to, to, yeah. to send her familiar in and see if see if she can see anything of interest. You know, in the. Yeah, totally. Get a bit more land. Right. Okay. So, uh, what's definitely revealing here is that this chamber is obviously bright and warm, with an obvious corridor um, on the opposite side of you, of, and of these doors. Um, and Andrea's uh, bird. We'll definitely see water and like a fountain of some kind uh, in this grand garden area. You wanted to go traverse down the corridors? Yeah, if Ganadri doesn't mind, just to try and. Well, she doesn't get like a she doesn't get like a vision of this, does it? I mean, the, the birds has to come back and report. Yeah, things yeah, the... it works. Correct. So I think so, we'd send the bird to to have a flap around in there and then come back and tell us the, the dimensions and if it if it saw anything dangerous or anything <laughs> that looked like humans, you know, would be valuable to humans. Oh, totally right. Um, yeah, they'll they'll fly around and uh, definitely report back. Uh, definitely like treasure. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely treasure. Uh, danger, no. 
Oh, it's a Ma- it's magic. Like a yes. lucky day. Yeah, magic. magic. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, as a wizard, do I? It's not in an area where I can see through the door, right? No. Hmm. How far was the? How far can we ask the bird? How far the the treasure was from the doors we're at? How how deep into this building? It effectively will signal the corridors. Hmm. So the far side. If it was a magic trap, is that the kind of thing you so. could detect, contact? I could might be able to detect it. I wouldn't be able to. Decide. To give you to, the kind of magic uh, trap. Yeah. Uh, to get to give you like rough dimensions and what we're dealing with here is that like this large room is about thirty-five feet in diameter. You know, so like twelve meters or so. Um, and then, you know, quadruple that for the corridor area. Um, there are some, uh, no, no, that's right. And it's like, like it's like a circular area or, uh, yeah, it's like maybe we'll like. It's trying to be a circle, but it's probably like more like a dodecahedron. And based on like the broken glass and the frames and stuff like that, it was like, oh, like obviously there's supposed to be light was supposed to come in here a lot, you know? A giant greenhouse that's overgrown. The bird, a living thing, didn't trigger anything when it went through yes and it definitely sounds like there's treasure Mm. if the entrance itself uh wasn't too sinister maybe i could go in a short way and and see if i can tell anything about this magic it, it saw whilst keeping a respectable distance ah if we don't risk if we don't wager we get nothing and isn't the whole point of being here yes, to explore? Hmm. So very well. I I can go first. Or, Conduct, did you want to go first? But we should I go am, inside and take a look. I, I'm the thief. Yes, I will sneak a little. Hit. What's the, What's the light situation? Is it Is it fairly well lit in here? Yeah, there's plenty of light coming in, streaming in from the outside. That you don't have to worry about torches. Okay, well, I'm going to grab my trusty 10-foot pole and uh, <laughs> creep around this door. Okay. Start moving along this uh, one minute there, Kondak. Let me uh, prepare you. And I think I'll cast uh, Protection from Evil on Kondak. Nice. Go for it. Okay. success great so that gives me that gives people things evil things disadvantage to hit me right is that how it works yes for spells and attacks hmm. okay. so things in here are evil or it's like <laughs> not evil i don't know well Which... chaotic i think <laughs> all right but we can uh, trust this bird <laughs> yeah so <laughs> when you when you cross the threshold you definitely feel like you're in an area of magic um, this place is, uh, the ma- there's, there's still residual magic in here, um, to keep this place very warm, very humid, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like good for garden rainforesty style climate for growing, right? Very, um, mm. very greenhousey. Warm and humid. Okay. And is right. that that's yeah, what it there's... seems the magic is there to do to control the climate, maybe. Uh, you can also tell based on just how much, you know, it's a partly cloudy day, but how bright it is in here that it's amplifying sunlight. Uh, OK, um, so, yeah, like it's it's all like kind of gardening. Uh, aesthetic magic. 
Uh, that being said, um, you can definitely see signs over the plants and everything like that. So, all right, so hold on, cut back for just one second. This is like a, almost like a four story tall building or like tower that you're kind of like walking into, right? One of the, this is like the largest in uh, in intact structure of, of this sort of, um, residence or, or castle. Okay. Um, of this place. Uh, it goes up about four stories and you can see there's numerous like mezzanine, not necessarily full mezzanines, but like maybe like partial balconies or like things that connected and there were like hanging down planters and stuff like that. So there's all these vines and all these plants mm. that are just growing uh, everywhere. Mm. The entire floor is carpeted in these vines and plants and stuff, um, you know, and uh, you can tell, finally tell underneath all of the vines that there is some sort of water feature, uh, Mm -hmm. you know basin fountain like thing in the center of this um circular void room okay and if we're this far in do we have any signs of a treasure or are we going on a bird's definition of treasure and there's just yeah. fruit in here yeah that's what i'm worried about the bird what is that what is a bird know about treasure <laughs> Are you taking time to search this area? Um, Contact's very worried because of what Calamon has told him about the vines. <laughs> it doesn't like yeah. the fact this place is crawling with vines. Mm -hmm. and he's going to keep a very, very careful eye on any of those sh shifting around. Mm. Um, yeah. You think you I saw a vine twitch? Oh right. Okay. For which which direction? <laughs> Whereabouts? Uh, you don't know. Uh, you just in your heart of hearts, you think you saw one move. You know what I mean? It could have been like, oh shit, was it that one? Was it just the light? But uh, your 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 really adventure senses vibes. though. Yeah, you're exactly the vibes are off. Really bad vibes. Yeah. Um it changes things. I think maybe we should start to back it up a little bit, or... If you're not you feeling, if you're not feeling it, if your thief senses are tingling, so to speak, then yeah, oh. retreat. Sorry, no, uh, let me reiterate, all of you oh. are, think the vibes are off. Uh. Now that you, now that you think about it, you're like, you, even though you threw the rock and stuff like that and nothing really responded, mm -hmm. it was only after like you all were came in here and took a few steps. You're like, I don't know, did that did that vine move? Hmm. You know, where's the treasure? You know, like, but, but you're like, I don't know. You can't even focus on that for that moment. As soon as like, I'm not mm -hmm. sure that vine moved. Or was it that one? Was it just the wind? Did, was it we walk in? You know, uh, and yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, maybe we play it cautious and... We, we we found the obelisk. We've confirmed that. We know there's no bonk that we could just go back to the bridge and continue on west. Fucking yeah. yeah, I would, I kind of yeah. He feels like he'd like to come back here when we have things to do with plants. You know. Mm. Yeah, whether, I mean, I do have that oil flasks. Too. They might might potentially deal with plants, right? Yeah, I've got oil flasks. Well, this, this this place is very wet, right? It's all it's yeah. covered in. That's true. Yeah. It's yeah. very damp in here. I'm not sure if it's the sort of dry you know, wood that's yeah. going to go up. In you know when you go to, to yeah, like when when like the when when the when the water spraying stuff sprays on it, like your supermarkets. Mm -hmm. It's like it's got that it's got mm -hmm. that damp energy, that mm -hmm. misty energy. Damp is not good for bowstrings. strings. We should get. Yeah. Okay, I think we're agree I think we're agree. We're gonna we're gonna cautiously back out. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This felt yes. too this felt too easy coming in here. It didn't feel yes. right to come back. Definitely. He doesn't trust the bird. He thinks the bird is getting treasure. He thinks the bird has a different concept of treasure to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might it might be related to yeah. fruit or something. Yeah. True. All right. As you, uh, we can put we can put a pin in this place and maybe come back to it when we're when we're yeah. feeling a bit bit more full strength. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, yes. As you uh, as you're closing the door, Kondak, uh don't worry. This is good. Uh, you're not sure why you didn't see it earlier. But uh, maybe because the vines moved. 
But um, there was definitely some body up on the balcony, and they looked very regal in their desiccated form. Oh. The door closed. Uh, and maybe, uh, uh, maybe we see a small little tendril of a vine uh, grow out from the door, even though it's closed, like from under it, which I hmm. assume you, you stamp out <laughs> as, as, you, uh, as we leave here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's, let's leave. That's, that's a classic yeah. tempting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was this to, to get to this just 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 not out of interest this balcony <laughs> how how hypothetically how far hypothetically how far into the room is it is it within um uh, it, it okay uh if it's 40 feet tall to 60 what's 66 percent of 40 feet uh 30 it's like less than 30 feet so like probably 25 feet 25 feet away Hmm. 25, 25 feet from the floor, the opposite side of you. You do the trigonometry, friend. Oh, I, can't, I, can't. I leave. I leave this as an exercise <laughs> to the reader. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. So here's um, a different question. It's uh, grappling it's, hook range. That's mm. what. Yeah. That's that's what I'm asking. So I have a grappling hook and I have a 60 feet of rope. Yeah. 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 That's more, more than enough. The other thing is, this this is on a balcony. Does it look like right. there is a a window onto this balcony? Ah. Uh, from the outside, no. This balcony sort of like... Imagine that this place kind of maybe had a staircase at some point and then kind of like circled up so you could see all the plants kind of growing at some point. And then in terms of the uh, size of a sleep spell, the distance from the door to this balcony, that's kind of exceeds what I could cover in one spell, right? No, 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 no. no. I, I would consider this whole room... Um, one zone for movement, which would then hmm. include sleep for that. Well, I could try that. Uh, it's up to two hit dice. It could potentially nullify everything. Yeah, that's the option. I mean, could 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 I could I throw a grappling hook from the door, snag this thing, drag it, or am I going to have to go in back into the room really to do that? Like, if I'm just trying to get the. Uh, I would tell you that the to be com cards on the table, uh, based on the tendril sneaking out from the door, the plants are aware that something was here. Oh, okay. If you so actually reacted to if you potential. if you do more stuff, they will. Yeah, yeah. If we open that door, it's going to be initiative. I would say yes. Mm. They're going to now, swarm us. Could I get from the door to the balcony and back in three rounds? The door. Um, how are you getting to? How are you getting to the balcony? There's no way up. Grappling. Uh, well, you could climb. I mean, you could climb the vines. Supposedly. <laughs> They're gonna notice your movement. They don't have oh. eyes. I'm a half. Gonna... I, can go, I can go. I can go invisible for. for yeah, seconds. but they, but invisible means this... things with eyes can't for... see you. For, yeah. I don't want them to feel you. And grab your yeah. foot anyway. For all intents and purposes, it is not possible to not step on a vine in this place. Okay. Unless you were, like, literally floating. You know what I mean? There's no way to be on the ground and not touch a vine. We could risk the initiative and That's try to sleep them all. Yeah. And that is assuming that um, vines, that there is something, uh, a monster in here. And that is assuming that they can also see invisible by touch, which is not guaranteed. Why well, it's so tempting, that body. <laughs> this must be the treasure the bird was referring to. They must have seen something on the body. You want me it, to tie a rope send the around burden. you? <laughs> you want then... to send the burden and try to... Sorry. Why am I Do you want to have a tug of war? Sorry? I can tie a rope around you. <laughs> You can go in, and if they do try to grab you, I'll pull you back out. Uh, hmm. I really think that we need a bunch of people with like swords and axes. Yeah. For this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just a thief. Mm -hmm. Understood. Let's still come back. Yes. It's interesting, though. You got to admit. Mm -hmm. it oh, is it is. It's so tempting. Yeah. But. I I know. I mean, we know how 
old school games work, right? Yeah. We got all we we did it cautiously. We got all the signs that there's a problem. <laughs> Maybe we should just yeah, respect the omens in this case. Classic. Right. Calamardo's here to tell us that. Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, let's should we uh, let's should we proceed? Should we proceed across this this next bridge? Should we back out yes. of the ruined palace. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Proceed across the bridge and maybe head towards this uh, headless statue of a robed cloak figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's explore that area. And have a look around the ruins on the other side near the bridge. Okay. So we cross the bridge. Yeah. This is the first time over this bridge. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Okay. Uh, so this stone bridge mirrors the stone bridge uh, on the other side of it. Uh, the other side of this island. But uh, yeah, there is definitely some sort of looming cloaked figure uh, on a statue that's sort of facing this bridge. In the same mm-hmm. kind of fashion that there's a set of uh, Ozymandias feet uh, on a in front of the other bridge. Ah, okay. And, uh, Player wise, I get it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one's so, intact. Yeah, so, I mean, it stands its head. Uh, I mean, we're fairly confident the statue on the other side is where the the Arden statue mm-hmm. of Arden goes, right? So, I'm guessing that this is probably a st- statue of Vol, her companion. That's um, my thought. Is it? Is it a reminiscent of the, the huge statue of Vol that's on the, the cliff? The yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. But it's missing... Was it missing its head? Correct. That's kind of the part where you're, there's a little bit of doubt, you know? How many weird cloaked like the, figures would have a massive statue in Arden Vol? The, the yeah. symmetry is too, is too um, mm-hmm. tempting. Um, do you got? Do you got to have an exam? Examine it. See if there's anything written on it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. And between the bridge and there, there's not too much that stands out in terms of uh, other standing structures or anything. Uh, negative. There's, uh, I, w- I wouldn't say that. I think there's a couple extra little features you could spend some time searching around here. Mm. Um, of the statue, yeah. So again, this is like, mm. with its head, it would be probably about 30 feet tall, be about 10 meters or so. Um, yeah. But, uh, no, there's no, um, inscriptions or anything like that, uh, labeling. Hmm. Vold is like a more obscure figure, right? Arden, everyone loves Arden, but Vold is like a yeah, supporting actor. Yeah. Um. So any sort in this sort of area, are there any signs of like uh like tracks, um, humanoid tracks or? And if he's actually moving around here. Humanoid tracks, yes. Um, you see bare human footprints, as well as handprints. Um, you've seen mm-hmm. brushed reeds and grasses where crocodiles and uh, great frogs have laid. You see plenty bear, of bear. small spider webs and of that things of that nature. Bare cool. humans. There are ghouls. We ran into these. Yeah, um, in, the, in the plaza, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Mean, yeah. In, Not a lot of humans walk on their floors. hands. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Keep, keep, let's keep our eyes open for ghouls. Can we see? Yeah. Maybe it's too far away, but the, that west, the west gate, way to the, off to the west. Can we see any signs of life from this distance? Any indication the Setites might have occupied those towers again? Yeah. Smoke, maybe, or. Yes, you do see smoke in these ta- in the towers over here. Hmm. Uh, you don't see anything in red armor, though. Okay. Uh, instead, actually, what you see is that, uh, quite a few... Um, let's see if you've seen these people before. They look kind of like people, but maybe like their bottom halves are more animalistic. 
Are they goat people? A few of them have, yeah. Uh, more than half have goat characteristics. But uh, a couple of them have um, like a human with a rat snout. Um, or like big ears. Mm. A couple of them have uh, multiple sets of horns or uh, antlers, I should really say. So I think it's my basement then. Can we see, are they wearing armor? Are they wearing the classic basement armor? Can we tell that from here? No, they're, they're wearing uh, rather uh, nice hides and things like that. Mm. And uh, cloths. No armors. So if these uh, would these be the the, yeah. the goat people from the bottom of oh. the short stairs? How have they how do they've got up here? You see a few leaders, uh, or you see a few uh, more of the martially inclined of this group, uh, Taliana, uh, are mm -hmm. wielding um, like metal shields. Yeah. But the rest of them, like, it doesn't seem like a lot of them are using uh, use metal implements. Mm. Are they blue shields? <laughs> that would that would be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. Um, I'd say we steer clear from of them for now. We don't know if that's the Mogmek and clan that left below. Oh, it is yeah. a nicer nicer place, but I mean, they weren't home when we went to investigate a few days past. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't home. Oh, you, oh, you went there, didn't you? Yes, we did, Recently. and then we tried to climb the cliff, and the Sedites assaulted us. So, so what was the situation at the caves? Then it was abandoned. Was it? Was it Taliani went there? Yes. Yeah. And it, yeah. Everything was a bit. It was an orderly, orderly departure. It didn't look ransacked. It didn't look attacked. It looked like they packed up most of their stuff and left. We know the basement and the Setites have a, a working together now. Yeah, so um, I, wonder, my... I wonder if the Setites were, were are sick and tired of getting beaten up by us, mm. and they still wanted to retain some sort of presence in that tower. Maybe they've enlisted those the goat people to kind of hold that area for them in some capacity. Possibly, possibly. Or the basement have. Mm. Maybe, they, maybe they don't want to. Maybe they think it's too risky being there with the dragon around. You know. mm Hmm. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't assume they'd be friendly just because they've been friendly-ish to us in the past. No, they probably aren't. Um, Eric, you said there's some sort of in, in tech structures around here as well? Yeah. Um, things worth looking around at. Want to take your time and root around? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah, right why don't we do that? that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um... Nothing reveals any sort of like secret passages or anything of the like, but you don't leave empty handed. Um, it will be uh, you, uh, Gavdos, who will find a uh, old silken bag of some kind. Um, mm. And containing with it are some very curious um, set of six items. Um, they seem to all, they all seem to be uh, irregular shapes. Um, one of them is like a maybe like an off-white hexagon, uh, and you see then a couple like orange squares. One's a mm. one's an orange triangle oh. of a very mm. hard but non-metallic substance. Oh, souvenirs! This has been a lovely outing. <laughs> uh, does this look familiar to anybody? Uh, did you say some of the hex shapes? Correct. Eric. Okay. Yeah. I and mean, we have, we've we've seen we have seen hex tile, hex tiles like this before. Yeah. You know, from a strange substance. I don't know if it's the same thing. I don't think Condacts have ever had a good look at those, but um yeah. and it was a long time ago we found them. We that was we found those in the in the in the well. Whether or not they're the same thing, I think Condact would know that if you ever wanted to steal or or hide away one of those things that are in the um that 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 artifact that's in the um, Bulgarian archives, you know, and swap it with one of these things, it would be a long time before someone noticed the difference. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, that's all. So you're like, yeah, that, that's probably a shoe in without knowing any specifics. You're like, that probably looks about, this, looks right. 
feels right. And as a thief, I wanted if I needed to swap something with something identical to realize something wasn't actually stolen, that would probably do the trick. Hmm. Um, Is that the one you, that you sold when you incorporated? Uh, no, we still have it. We do still have it in the vault. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've just not done much of it. And is there any kind of magical aura coming off them? Uh, no. Uh, unfortunately, there's no, ma uh, no magical tinnitus. Okay. How how many how many things are in there? Six? Did you say Ten. six? Six. Six tiles. <laughs> Different colors and shapes. Yeah. Predominantly rectangular. Um, a few of them hexagonal, and then even a more few of them triangular. Like maybe like four rectangles, one hexagon, one triangle. Hmm. Okay. Right. Do we want to move north, south? There's. There's a. Search, well, are we searching the other place? Oh, yeah, yeah. Could do. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Again, uh, there is nothing of as far as like secrets, tunnels, and things of the like in this area. Uh, but again, you're not leaving empty-handed. Um, this time would be uh, Thalania. You're the one who. Uh, sorry, Tally, uh, Taliana. Whatever. So Whatever. sorry. Uh, look, too many, too many things. Um, Tally, uh, you will find a scrap of parchment um, written on it, and um, it's in Mithric. Oh. Uh, Gavdos, could you... Uh, I don't understand this. I don't read. Mm, Do you certainly. know what this says? Yeah. Yes, yes, just follow along. It says... Uh... It's two words. Uh, it looks like it's been split off from somewhere, and it just says, Gog knows. <laughs> Well, we know we know Gog. Hmm. What does it, yeah. does it feel like? It says Gog knows, and then what he knows is missing. Exactly, it it's cut like... off. Yeah, it's cut off. Yeah. Uh, right. It's not like someone sort of like. Mm -hmm. Gog oh yeah, like he knows he's on to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there, there's no yes. there's no punctuation at the end of it. It's clearly like an open ended. Yeah. It's not like a murder mystery. It's stained in blood and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Dog knows the way. Dog knows. Just one more way. thing, Dog Your Excellency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah so. Um. Okay. So, uh, so the remaining stuff on this, this west side that we can see really is this uh, <clears throat> interesting, well-preserved longhouse. Mm. Mm -hmm. A great evil resides here. <laughs> uh, no, no, Sounds no. chill. We need a, uh, between. We need the princess. Yeah. Um, away from the interesting, well-preserved longhouse, and before you get to the um, Sedite Tower mm. label, uh, there is there is a partially intact structure worth um, investigating. Let's That's have a look in this kind of area. Yeah. Again. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. Let's have a look. Okay. Keep it just, but, but keeping one eye on these towers just to make sure. Definitely, these, these goat people are sort of sad. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. as we get closer, trying to maybe gauge how well defended it is, maybe how many of them there might be. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So we yeah, you... Taliana can get an idea. Yeah, but... I can use my Thorkin hunting. Yeah, they got uh, at least. System. They got at least three. Uh, Three goat folk people up there on the mm. sort of sentry towers. Uh, looks like they're doing double duty. Probably like they're also like drying out something up there as well. While and just kind of making sure other folks are around. You can see they have plenty of uh, either like javelins or spears or something like that up there. Mm. And no doubt they have yeah. probably some sort of you know warning horn or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they definitely have spotted you. That's for sure. Uh, they probably at some time probably when you cross the bridge. Uh, mm -hmm. But they haven't really been you know, threatened or feel like they need to call out or anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we won't get too close to them and they'll ignore us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, for it's, sure. It's, it's possible they're not working with either the beast or the satellites. It's possible they 
found this place after we cleared mm-hmm. it out. They yeah. decided it was a nicer abode. You know, it's up in the city. It don't mm-hmm. get hunted by Azure shields all the time. And they've occupied it. But that makes you wonder, do they have permission from the dragon to be occupied? Mm. Has it, does the dragon know they're here? Would the dragon be interested in, in knowing that information? Mm. Yeah, it could be worth a conversation once we've had a look around, if we don't have much else to do. I, um, I'm interested, yeah, I'm interested in whoever the dragon is still going to be mm. after whatever it's doing. I think if so, Gavdos noticed notices these guards observing us he'll just give a cheery wave as we continue on about our business Mm -hmm. um approaching that intact structure that i was alluding to Mm -hmm. contact the first thing you'll spot is that there's um you almost walked right into some webs uh leading up to this building Mm -hmm. they're translucent very light uh yeah and you almost just stepped in on Mm -hmm. some spider webbing Mm -hmm. uh what what uh what sort of structure is this? Is it a, a uh, some sort of house? house? Some yeah. sort of house, and is it is it mostly mostly intact, or is it? Uh, yeah, I, I would give it like at an eighty percent, so you can probably get in through like a wall if you wanted to. Um, but the rest of it is it still has a roof, you know. So there's Unless shade inside of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we fancy our chances against some spiders? I mean, we've got we've got a sleep spell, right? We have got a sleep yeah. spell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. Maybe we could wave a torch in the door, try to clear some webs, and then see what we see. I'll be ready to sleep anything that shows up. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can live. Maybe I can live them out, and then the, the two of you mm-hmm. and Kadria can. I have both of them say come out. Um, yes. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and creep up on this structure without without being noticed and. Um, See if I can see in, see how, see if there are spiders in there. See how many numbers there are. Um, mm. I might, I might have, um, <clears throat> I might have an oil flask ready to chuck if, if it all goes wrong. All right. Yeah, I have one if you need it. Uh, I'm not gonna let you to just be able to sneak up there without mm-hmm. dealing with one situation. The problem that I see is that there are these webs everywhere, and now you can Catherine Jones like over some of them here, but there's no way of doing all of that to get up there, uh, you know, and dodging them and stuff to, to get there without some sort of role to not be detected, right? And the question here would be, do you do you touch the webs? Do you try to avoid the webs by like burning them or like, you know, like is, that has its own risks, you know? Yeah, um, sure. I think you know what I, I mean? Would, I think I would, yeah, I think I would play it safe and I'd probably light a torch Just, and I'd probably try and set fire to do things and... Possibly that'll make these spiders react angrily and they'll come rushing out and then maybe we can fight. If we can fight them in the open, it'll be better anyway. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. Probably we've set fire to spiders' webs and all this, is, is we've, as we've learned in the past, sometimes precious documents mm-hmm. and spell books get destroyed. But So maybe maybe Gavdos would be like, no, don't do it. But, um, <laughs> but Kondak's only interested in... <laughs> plus two daggers and <laughs> mm-hmm. rings, rings the spider climbing. <laughs> coins and gold. Yeah. And coins and gold, which he feels will Coins and treasures and things. Yes. The inferno. So I will, <clears throat> I will light a torch and I will, I will attempt to burn away some of these, these webs. Okay. Um, so then I'll do it on my side. Okay. Um, you will catch the spiders, uh, there's a huge nest of spiders in here. Um, there are uh, four total, uh, each of them about the size of you. A halfling? Yeah, a halfling. halfling size. Okay. Yeah. I can deal with that. They have not noticed you or bur- noticed the burning of the webs. Maybe they're sleeping or something. I mean, I could just toss, a, I could toss an old flask in there. That might drive them out, might drive them off. Again, it might destroy anything of interest in there. But it seems uh, like a it, safe, no. safe plan. Ah, we if, the, uh, or you could we, try and hit, hit, hit him with a sleep right. spell. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I want, I, I want, to, I want to interject the problem solving because there's another, there's another mix to this. Uh, okay. There are when you, as you are lighting the, um, the webbings and stuff, uh, and getting close to the building. Um, without like they're trying to not make a lot of sound, but the the beastmen are, are in the in the towers, the goats people as you call them are are like trying to like flag at you to be like 
back. Hmm. To get back from them or back from the direction of the spiders? Yeah, they're like warning you. It definitely looks like they're warning you, but like the context is up to you. You just you're getting warning back, you know. Are they oh. warning us away from them or are they when you look around away? like mm. behind you, there's nothing behind you. You know what I mean? Maybe we talk to them, just get close enough to have a quick discussion. There's nothing in the sky, right? <laughs> Circling <laughs> around us. No. Like wivens. <clears throat> If they I, I meant the farm, right. they they would have let us go in. Um... You're exactly right, Daliana. If if they're warning us, they're at least neutral to us. I would say yes. for a conversation. Yeah, because they wouldn't. If I were working for the satellites, they wouldn't care, right? They wouldn't care yeah. if we were wandering mm -hmm. into some spiders, mm -hmm. unless unless the yeah. thing we're going to disturb is so terrifying. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe we should maybe we, should maybe we should back off and parlay with them. To yeah. Yes. Yes. What, yeah, I like what that it idea. Is they're trying to tell us. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe they'll because they might just let us have a look at this trapdoor. Maybe we can just say we want to go. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're probably not in, that, that interested in going into a dungeon, right? They, so if mm -hmm. that trapdoor goes somewhere interesting, they right. might just let us down there. I don't know. All right. Yeah, you can when you get when you get closer in uh, Broken Arcantian, um one of them. The, one of the antlered ones will uh, call out to you and say, No burn! No burn! Please! We farm! Uh, we farm the spiders? Yeah, and uh, they, they throw a, they show you a quiver made out of spider silk. Right, Ooh. okay. It's mm. holding their javelins. And that's where they, that's where they keep them. They, they, they... Nope. We keep sleep. Yeah, okay. No uh, burn. Probably, probably means there's nothing of interest in there, right? Because there was a Please. Yeah. Interest in there. Please. Okay. We give. We we give. No burn. Like like they're trying to buy you off. They won't they don't want you to destroy their, their farm. Uh, what are I they think. trying to give what, what are they trying to give us though? What's the, yeah. they they'll, give you, what they'll give you one of these quivers. Yeah. Uh, what clan? Mogbok. Yeah, it's the guys from it's the guys from the bottom of the sports stairs. Hmm. Great what, warrior from from below. Yes. Oh. No, from 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 area from here. So when you say below, they're not sure. Of the name. Oh. But yes, it's the, um, it's the one and the same. Yeah, thicket, 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 ticket. Yeah, ticket. Yeah. Thicket. <laughs> 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 Well, I mean, we'll, we'll graciously take the take the quiver from them if they yes. offer it as a as a as a gift. I mean, Taliana is an archer, so yeah. yeah. The impl the implication is they're buying your piece with this. Okay. Mm, yeah, we're not, maybe we're not gonna kill, the, kill their spiders if they're not if they're not aggressive. Um, yeah. But I'm curious to ask them why why have they why did they leave their caves? Why why are they living here now? Blue shields, not safe. Okay. But Dragon. Dragon makes safe. Cast, you... cast old god, old god weak, new god dragon. Ah, so you've got the, the dragon lets you live here. You've you've spoken to the dragon. Chief, chief lets us live here. Chief strong. Hmm. Okay, but the dragon knows you're here. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> that they don't understand the question. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm. And um, you've not seen that the, the there's the... there's doubt between them <laughs> like 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 there's story they're like oh, do we <laughs> like that's a good point <laughs> is that like is kind of what you're getting when you're when you look at them I I just I'm sure your chief knows what they're doing but I would advise you a bit of a free advice my friends I would you talk so fast <laughs> I would. Use you you use words like spells. You should speak with dragon. Ah, dragon scary. Give, give gift to dragon. Mm. Maybe maybe gift. Dragon. Oh, 
<laughs> all right, maybe. All right. Uh, when you say that, uh, they were they were, were proceeding to give you the quiver, but now they're going to save it to give it to the dragon instead. No, 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 he no, okay, like him. we 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 keep for dragon. He he know like he doesn't like that. Uh, I'm going to say well instead of the quiver that you have, that you have yeah. kindly offered us, um, would you let let us? <laughs> I don't know how it's finished. Um, <laughs> would problem. you let us go in that tower over there? I say pointing the tower that has a trapdoor in the bottom. Oh, yeah. But... Yeah, no burn. Yep. Peace. We're free to... Yeah, and they, they'll toss down the, the quiver. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a spider silk quiver. Uh, what it can do is it can double the holding of ammunition. Oh, nice. oh. So I could have like 40 arrows instead of 20. In one slot, yeah. Or like two javelins in a slot or something like that. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So so if, if these goat people seem cool with us going over to the tower, going in the basement, uh, I think we should see if we can get down this trap door. You know, wait till yes. they're not looking at around yes yeah. see if we can Maybe. do it like anyway, but I, I think they're going to follow us anyway but I'm there's no way to do this without I... them noticing you yeah, you guys are I'll... obviously the most interesting thing today i mean it's possible this trapdoor just leads straight down to a room that's full of loads and loads of gold and then we're going to be like damn it mm -hmm. yeah but it's also possible it leads to like a stairwell that's going to take us somewhere in a dungeon and i feel like the goat people are going to be curious but i don't think any of them are going to like want to come down there with us you know um, Does it not, look like they're not? They're yeah. not going to be able to articulate to anyone who asks them what it is, you know, <laughs> or you know, people got to ask the right questions to get. So I feel like we can go in there and have a look, see what's there. Um, I think if it's another entrance to somewhere good, it would be great to know. And it, does it look like they're living inside that tower already, or or we might get a chance to have privacy inside there? Nah, they're already living here this whole area and the towers and stuff is their domain now again they're like 50 mm. strong so like they kind of need a little space they can get <clears throat> do they rec do they remember us do they know sorry. do they kind of sorry 50 weak i should say 50 weak because that's like their women and children <laughs> yeah okay right okay the, yeah i think you said they've got like a dozen fighters or 20 fighters or something yeah something like that i mean maybe they've recruited more people I always mm. wonder if these guys are like the of the weird offshoots of whatever process makes the beastmen. If they're if they're related to the beastmen or a totally different. Mm. I don't know. Um, but if they, but we, we'll be we'll be very polite and respectful, and we'll. They call uh yeah. Place. Well, not necessarily. I'm not trying to like talk like this. This came up in conversation with them, but like they refer to those guys on the stairs as dogmen. Okay. Yeah, I think we did. I think they did say that before, actually. That's why I got the impression they're, they're totally different. That's why they call species. yeah they call them goatmen. That's what they like. They kind of call themselves kind of goatmen. They dogmen. Mm. Okay. Goatmen don't like dogmen. Okay. I think this is. I think this is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, these guys like us, right? They're, they're the only faction. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the only faction that we can get. Along <laughs> Haven't with. tried to instantly kill us. Or, mm. I mean, the goblins, the goblins were. Yeah. But we have to give them a lot of money, and they're still really mm. annoying. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll this, try, we'll try yeah. and proceed and see how they uh, react to us moving into their sort of area. And... When, they, when they see you moving in there, they say, house, and they point all, like, way behind them. Like, they're, not, they're, pat, they're pointing, like, kind of at that sedite house, but also beyond that house, like, down, down the road, outside mm. of Arnville. Hmm. To the to the west, further yeah. past the walls. Yeah, they're alluding to something that's past the walls. Now, didn't the set like like the, if the, they think like you're in the market for real estate and they're like house? Uh, oh right, okay. But didn't the, didn't the set wasn't there some a document that Setites had that said there was something to the west, right? Yes. Yeah. There is two a, things to the a west. Manor. Yeah, there's a gladiator school and a manor. Gladiator school and a manor. Yes. So are they pointing? Can we actually see what they're pointing to? Or are they just they're just sort of pointing in that direction and saying? No, you can uh you can just like make it out 
Uh, it is a late Arkantian era villa, overgrown mm -hmm. with trees and shrubs. So maybe like only a couple hundred years old. Mm. I mean, would you? Should we check? Should we see if we can check out his trapdoor without riding them up too much? If they yeah. if they get really mm -hmm. aggro about it and they're not happy with us doing that, maybe we could go to this manor. Yeah, we, yeah. Could. we could. We could. We <laughs> could drifting further and further out the city. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I would like to check the trapdoor. That, yeah, that does seem. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try and look at this trapdoor and see, yes. see, if they, see how they react to that. Yeah, for sure. Um, right. So you'll definitely check out that there is this uh, trapdoor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember if you just knew about there like you kind of found the trapdoor but i knew you knew it was kind of like covered with stuff so you knew the satites never found it mm -hmm. i think that was important yeah. so i don't think you ever cleared it off to to look it down yeah. there no okay um the well, dragon showed up it kind of the, ruined everything the oh, first we were gonna go back but people were people didn't want the yeah, yeah. people objected okay. to Kondak going back so he's like i want to go back and look at this got it got it okay uh Kondak. uh all right to your chagrin um, you clear off the space to try to open this hatch, and it does not open. Is it locked? No, it's not locked. I would have told you if it's locked. It doesn't open. Oh, is it? Is it magically locked? Is it magically sealed? No, no, no. It's uh, naturally sealed. Hmm. Okay, so could we shift it with force? Yeah, yeah, totally. It just required to be forced open. It's stuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm being sorry. I re I realize I'm. I thought I, I was being too clever for my own good, and I realized it. So let me just. You're right. Subte like you're you know what? Like subtext is. Yeah. Or something. Like it, Sub like yeah. 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 Like, for sure. I. I. Because that's actually happened more than the, than stuck doors. So that's fair. Uh. Yep. Subtext is yeah. for cowards. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we'll try and force this open. Um. Mm -hmm. I, have we got an audience? Have we got? Have these goat people? We got an audience? Are they watching us do this? Uh, no, I assume you shut the door, but yeah, there's probably yeah. like at least like four or five people, uh, kind of just hanging out, um, you know, eating, um, one of them's got like their kid on their shoulder, <laughs> like just, like just kind of figuring out like, and they said no burn, <laughs> like, you know, this just like this, they said no burn and they just went in here. We told, we told them there's a house and then, you know, you hear, you hear someone like, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. There's, there's a house down there. You don't have to live here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. This isn't that's it's not that's not the house. <laughs> Excuse me. Like you don't live. <laughs> yeah. like, we're doing like the classic tourist thing. We're just we're just just pretending mm -hmm. we're not we're not hearing anything. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. Try and get yeah. the trapdoor open. There's like genuinely confused how you're just like barging in here, but like it's it, fine. It, it, like, okay. In a heavy Thorkin accent, I'll say no our content, no our content. <laughs> 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 and they're like well, fair. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, it's that's so funny. Oh, Tally, it's good. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah. So go ahead and uh, force this open. It's a strength check here. Uh, DC twelve. Uh, okay. Uh, I have strength yeah. uh, sixteen. I think. Uh, so plus three. Uh, what channel? All right. D twenty plus three. Uh, do we have? Does anyone have a crowbar? All right. Mm, nope. Nope. No. Nope. There doesn't have to be a handy crowbar sitting around. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I like violated my own rules here. Yeah. Like you, do, you need a tool to open this. If you did, if you had a tool or something like uh, that, we could just say time passes. I mean, I've got, a, I've got a grappling hook and some rope. Could we? Could we? Yeah. Could, if there's a ring on the trapdoor or something, maybe. Yeah. 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 You could. You could. I. I would. I would allow that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So okay. We'll take the time to with three of you. Hook, and all yeah. Three of us will just try and yank. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay, um, I will I will allow this. However, the only way you get enough leverage is that the door has to be open, which means the beastman will see you, because you have to oh, basically stand in the doorway. I'd like to know about that. Okay, should, should I have a go at just getting open with brute strength first? Yeah. And then yeah. Try yeah. You could you could open yes. with a roll without, but otherwise, I think three people in this small environment, I think you're actually going to need to kind of need that extra little bit of space. Okay, cool. Let's have a go. 13. Yay. Nice. Yay. Yeah. Now, yeah, okay. okay, now you did... It's not like you did this quietly, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, but 
-hmm. now they're going to be like what was that like but they're they don't know right and they're not going to barge in here they're, they're just going to say excuse me please don't destroy our tower <laughs> we, <laughs> excuse me just, excuse me mr mr arcanti please don't destroy our tower we give you more <laughs> like we please <laughs> Okay. No burn, burn, no I've break. Got, I've actually got a pickaxe as well, but yeah, okay, it's fine. Oh, that would have worked. Um, just, yeah, no, no, that, that definitely would have worked. Yeah, okay. Um, you would have made a hole. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's see where this goes. Uh, nice. This will drop. Pardon me. Uh, okay. Uh, there is a sub basement that this drops into. It is filled with yeah. debris, or mm -hmm. debris as we like to call it. Mm -hmm. um, old crates and barrels marked from hundreds of years ago. Oh, how, how big? How big um, is this basement? You say about the size of the the other one. Yeah, from the tower, other tower, on the other eastern side. So that's probably like thirty feet, and again, sub basement. So it's like half height. So you guys, you have to kind of crouch around. Mm. If you're not it's kind of like it's like a circular base for if it's a tower. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um holes in the sub basement uh appear um from picks and sledges. But the um, holes. Yeah. And what kind of what, holes in the like like they were expanding? The yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Not the Setites. The Setites didn't find this place. Uh, no. There's a lot of crates down here. Uh, do, do you guys want to have a sh shifty for these crates while uh, yes. Kondrak has, a, has, a, has an examination of the... Yes. I'm, I assume there's no obvious exits from here, right? No well, that's what I was about to look up. Just give me standby just one second. Let me just double check on the map yeah. to see what we're looking at here. Summer Cheeks can uh, take a torch from me and we'll light it. Oh, yeah, that's true. We need to light it, don't we? Yeah. Summer Cheeks can do that. Okay. Good on yeah. summer cheeks. I haven't heard from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, sorry. No. Um no, there a hundred percent there's two exits from here. Uh so there's Ooh. exits to the north and exits to the south. Mm. Um oh. and these are like naturally or uh sorry, um yeah. Uh some sort of like long passageways. From the south. Okay. Uh, it smells down here. Not like death and debris, but it smells like great amounts of musk. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as you get away from the sub-basement, uh, like part, you know, so imagine um, you are, you're getting smushed down by the sub-basement, but as soon mm -hmm. as you get outside of the perimeter of the sub-basement, the ceilings again go to like, you know, mm. eight or nine feet tall. Hmm. Uh, does anybody have any iron spikes? Maybe we could spike the door to make sure the beastmen don't witness what we're doing. I don't uh, mind if they see they are allies. If there's anything useful that we don't want that we find here, we could give it to them. I I assume that the, the trap door probably opens outwards, right? So I think it'd be hard for us to spike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From below. Well, I I meant the original door that we were holding them out from before we oh. go through the trap door. Because once we're all in the trapdoor, they're going to immediately come in and witness everything. Yeah, I mean, I have got some iron spikes. It's not a bad idea. I wonder if it will roll them up if they want to come in here and they can't. Mm. Mm. And then if they can't, are they going to kind of get all of their warriors to kind of bash down the door? And then they're going to come and find us and ask us yeah. where we are. That's a good um, point. <laughs> I'm, st I'm just, I'm still... I'm still hopeful that they just they just will not be that interested in going mm -hmm. underground and delving um, around because yeah. it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be the modus operandi. Yeah. But mm -hmm. oh, uh, light audit by the way. Oh, yeah, um, summer cheeks will have. I gave a torch to summer cheeks to light. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Um, ten feet north of the um sub basement is a Y intersection that you can see with your own light. Uh, branching off. Um, so if that's north, it's branching off northwest and northeast. That's kind of a perfect Y, 45 degree slant. And then mm -hmm. to the south, uh, there's sort of, again, like natural cave, uh, just kind of oscill drifting, oscillating south um, far beyond your torchlight. Uh, I would I would reckon that this whole place does smell kind of like earthy, loamy, um, but I would say that more and musky, 
Now, but I would say more of the musk smell is coming from the south. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, and should, should we get this? Should we have? Should we get these crates open? Because they might. Yeah. Be... Let's see if there's anything we can. Yeah. Give. Good point. Yeah. Or see take... if we can find that that one XP mm. for Talion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Yeah. If we can find one gold coin, we can go back happy. <laughs> no. All right. We need to. No, we're gonna we need, need five you gotta, five yeah. gold coins. You're gonna have to break apart uh, the crates because they're basically all dilapidated as hell. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah, I've got yeah. pickaxe. Yeah, I've got pickaxe. Yeah. So we can use a pickaxe to do that. <clears throat> okay. Um, the pickaxe goes into the crate, um, just revealing a bunch of dust and moldy flour, um, scattering debris and the like. And then you all hear a roar to the south, and another roar, mm. and kicking of dust, a roar you've never heard before. Sounded like, uh -oh. <laughs> sounded almost like a, a man. But uh, mm. bigger. Oh boy! Interesting. Uh, like, <laughs> interesting. You, so I think your like your that. brain your brain has just gone to oh oh my god, are there troll beastmen? Is probably where your head oh. should go to. Mm. Um, as, uh, is it multiple roars or is it is it one, Mul one yeah. roar? No, multiple. Uh, uh, should we should we exit out up up to the tower? Back into the I think so. Yeah, that interesting is what Gavdos was saying as he was slowly backing straight back out of the yep. trapdoor. Maybe we could at yep. least, if this is something horrible that's going to come and fight us, maybe we could at least involve the goat people in this. Mm -hmm. We could. Uh, and how high was the ceiling in that sub basement? Maybe we could even snipe at it from through the trapdoor. Right. About five feet or so. Mm. It's definitely a choke point, anyway. Oh. Mm hmm. Uh, you're, I, look, I assume Summer, Summer Cheeks with the Lantern is not going to stick around and wait for you to see what, what these things are coming. You know? no. no, no, I think, I think we're all going to get back up. We're all going to go back. Everybody you hear, the trap door. Yeah, there is a sound of nails on, like, chalkboard, you know, as, as claw or steel on rock, uh, dragged, mm -hmm. uh, and as the roars, uh, approaches, you guys get up there and scurry, and then it gets, you know, muffled down by the mm -hmm. trap door. Oh my uh, god. Um, do you guys... Do you, do you leave the tower? Um, no, as, that's weird. okay. Standing ahead of you, to see yeah. what comes, right? Well, uh, standing crowded all around you are all of the uh, goat men <laughs> who came inside, being like, "What? What are you doing? Like, what? what hey. you, you find hole? <laughs> hey, hey, you found hole! Hey, everybody, they found hole! They found hole!" Yeah. And then they hear a roar, and they're like, "Oh no!" <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. And they like they like immediately like just grab the kids and they're like, we're going, we're getting out of here. Oh no, everywhere we go, we bring death and destruction. Um uh, can we can we pile the crates and stuff back on top of the trapdoor? Uh yes, you can. But they're gonna come something's you... gonna come through here, right? Uh, maybe we should get, maybe we should whatever was coming at you tower. was strong. Whatever was coming at you again yeah, yeah, sounded yeah. strong, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let, let's. I think the best the best place to to fight whatever these things are are going to be in the open because in the open we can run away, right? Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. Good point. Okay, so yep. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna back rapidly out of this tower and whatever's mm -hmm. coming, and we're gonna motion at the at the at the, at the goat people to do the same. <laughs> I'm yeah. Asking, they're they're already reacting. Yeah. Uh. I'm even going to signal up to the tower uh, to, that they should grab their bows and be ready. Sounds good. And we'll kind of get ready to fire at the door if they're coming through mm -hmm. or, or run away very fast. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's see if it comes out in the light. Yeah, let's see what it is at least. Um, so every so tactically right now, who's in the tower? I think Nobody, we're all right? getting out of the tower. I think we're yeah, all we're all leaving the tower. The tower. Yeah. Are you leaving the door open? Yes. 
I mean, uh, so I think I think the beast like guards, it. yeah, the goat the goat lads are gonna be like, close the door. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, think don't, think don't care. Make a difference. Want... I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but if they come okay, up. close the oh. door. That's what they want. It's their home now. Look, they're panicking. Like to be to be clear, this is not me like telling you what to do mm -hmm. or anything. This is mm -hmm. them panicking and being like, "Dude, close yeah, yeah. the damn door!" <laughs> like, yeah. does a does a door stop a tornado? No, but like <laughs> for some yeah. reason, you know what I mean. Like at this point, they're like, "Close the damn door." Okay, I think I think Gavdos will just slam the door behind him as he's the last one out, and he'll clear back maybe thirty feet or so and face the door to see what's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. The uh I punch through um the the wood. Uh you you hear the sound of a forceful splinters. Uh and and heavy snorts and oh, ringing of chains. Oh no. Oh no. I think I as a as a hand punches through I, I well you can't see it but to us in the in the in the show that is this game uh you know we you see it like punches through and then a a gnarly looking old great axe uh helps heave the rest of it out of the way and a big burly arm and then another arm and a broken horned bull like head oh, no. it oh, my God. begins to, oh, no. to drag himself out of there and then you see another set of hands uh immediately at the end of there um what do you all do? Is it possible to cast a mage armor whilst this jack? Oh yeah, totally. Some kind of moment is happening. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the screams. I think screaming is valid. Uh, a lot of the um, beastmen people are all screaming. No. Uh, upon the side of them, they've never seen one of these before, and they're like, "That not dog man. <laughs> That's not us." <laughs> In fact, they're they're all. Incredibly shocked. I, what would a goat man think of seeing a minotaur? We'll have this. They, we'll, we'll see. Are any of them moving? To, uh, are they moving to any sort of? Are they congregating anywhere, or are they all just scattering in panic? Or is like, is there any? Uh, they're going to the other towers and trying to get to as high up to high ground as possible. Is that a good idea? Could a is a minotaur strong enough to knock over a tower? <laughs> Mogmuk is uh, uh, everyone's like get Mogmuk, get Mogmuk, <laughs> and like the horns are going off and the screams are happening. Uh, oh. Not one, I'm telling you, not one, not two, but Did three. We really be, I feel incredibly bad for this situation occurring. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm concerned that we're not. But uh, we are not a we are not a fighting minotaurs party. <laughs> Uh, I can, uh, from a distance, I can just plunk arrows into them, but they're going to come charging mm. out. So maybe we should that go. That is and true. Run, I hide. Yes. Let's let's clear a lot of distance if we can. Uh, yes. I think we can both attack from far, mm -hmm. but we should just be trying to run it. Yes. Okay. Okay, it sounds like the party is running. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll roll. I'll roll for how many rounds before Mokmuk and his uh, thanes, uh, you know, mighty mighty thanes uh, can arrive. But in the meantime, um, I'm, I'll give you all initiative, given the fact that they have to break down this door, right? So basically, mm -hmm. it's kind of like saying, "Hey, I'm ready in action for the first thing to come through that door," you know. Um, so that's sort of the way I would I would play it. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, the shining, uh, you know, great axe uh, through the uh, this. Recently reinforced nice door that the Setites put into the, this tower mm. uh, is splintered um, in an instant. Uh, and you see a uh, ringed nasal uh, you know, bull-like face uh, grinning and s slobbering uh, with red eyes. I didn't think this was how this was going to go. Um, yeah. So who... Did, uh... Do, do we get to do something first? Then you said. Yeah, we... yeah, yeah. This is your first opportunity to target them. They don't. They don't get like a bonus because of the door in the way or anything like that. I'm, just, you know, you have all the advantages and, here. And then you try and to... try and run as fast as I can away. <laughs> you 
these boys might try and fight. Uh, I'm, not fight. I'm not trying to fight. I'm just trying to trying to put them off. Maybe enough for enough time for Mogmek and his fanes to come. Yeah. Yes, but would we want to jump in if they look like they have a fighting chance? Exactly. If if yeah. they look right. like they're gonna, if they get in the upper hand, then we can. You can. Yeah. If people look like they're shouting mug 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 and running in a certain direction, we should also run that direction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the more more of like a tactical description, there's kind of three places on this map that are important. You know, there's Tower A or Tower One that is where you're at, where this is happening. There's a second tower, mm -hmm. right? And then there's a sort of other large uh, structure mm -hmm. barn kind of area that... um other people live in so there's sort of set of this the set of three and the group is unfortunately being split some of them are running up to this tower as much as possible you know a handful of people just went up the stairs up here uh thinking they'll mm -hmm. be safe you know and but then yeah the majority of folks ran over here uh been hollering to this building and the one they're bursting out of is that kind of more northerly tower correct correct this one is yeah. the tower they're okay. bursting out of okay i think we should head to this central area i hope that, yes uh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Do you, yeah. do you should I throw, should I throw an oil flask just to try and hold these things up, or do is it just completely pointless? Do you think? Save it uh, for when we can throw it at them. Okay. All right. We'll just we'll just uh, we'll just run as far as fast and far mm -hmm. as we can. Yeah, like a double try. Yeah. Try and yeah. get them. Try and get ahead of them. Yeah. Yeah. I bet, I bet they don't worry. Quick, there's. Though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you all. So you all flee. Um. The, f the door flies off its hinges and this thing grabs uh, a fleeing goat man uh, and just crushes him into the ground. Um, oh my god. You know, axes another one. Uh, you know, it almost like throws their axe like closely and just like hews this guy in half and just gra and walks over and grabs his axe as the other two, uh, two start to, to walk out of this room as well. So for every time you're running, uh, assume they will kill uh, three um, goat men. Oh, and we've seen right. three so far coming yeah. out. Um, There's three of yeah. them. Oh, there are three. Yeah. Okay. Nope. One, I would say, yeah, Mog we could form a defense. Three. Uh, yeah. Mogmuk, Mogmuk needs one more round to get ready. Mm. Okay. Oh, get Coach his Charlie. people. Get his people here. What are you gonna do? I need, uh, <laughs> I, I need an elevated defensive position. That's what I scan you, for. Uh, you can climb up to the top of this building. Remember, this is the this is the same building that you uh, were invisibly throwing people off of. Yeah. And oh, in the, the side, I would ambush. like to like to do that as well because Kodak has a crossbow, of course. Yeah, you can get. Yeah. 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 So that's where we're gonna go. Uh, yeah, we're let's do that. Position. And I have magic missile. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. try and get onto the roof. Uh, Use yeah. distance. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can do that and shoot. Oh, okay. All right. I kind of don't want to attract their attention. I would even be willing to say that there's this is such a target rich environment that you have advantage, like you have not advantage, but you can ambush. Okay. Yeah, backstab in. Is that what you're yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Then you go first. Okay, screw it. Let's, let's, uh, uh... Yeah, okay, I'm going to shoot the nearest one with yeah. my... Uh... Sorry, I guess, so did you try to get advantage? Or... No, not advantage. You just no, get no. ambush. You get, you get the okay, power so to the extra so damage. Uh, no, that's... <laughs> I messed that up entirely. A one is uh, not going to do it. Okay, so we have a failed spell. Okay. <laughs> a one, <laughs> a one on, on, the, on the crossbow shot. <laughs> Uh, question. They don't Belly. count as beasts because they're creatures. Correct. They would be humanoids. Okay. Nightwind would be a good weapon right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's a... Rub yeah, it, rub it to Sorry, I know. Sore, sore topic. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think my mighty deed is I'm going to try and put an arrow through the tendon so this thing can't move properly. Yeah, yeah, and slow him down. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Slow him down. Let's see yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah. Achilles heal it? Oh, uh, yeah. I did get but I hit it. Oh, uh, Okay, but you didn't you didn't get a three. Okay. I didn't but get that, my DD. Yeah. Okay, but you still got the damage. D eight plus four. 
Six damage. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, by <laughs> and that uh, failed spell there was my uh, mage armor from earlier. Yeah. So I'm gonna pop off a uh, magic missile as well if I can. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, uh, tally your mechanical or your your eye for combat and assessment is that you're gonna need probably at least another five arrows of like that to bring one of these down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another three. There's a magic missile. Yeah, I'll try to hit the same one. Three yes. damage. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a fifty fifty to see if you all hitting it is enough to get its attention. Mm. It is okay. So okay. he's going to spend his turn uh, coming over to you and start climbing up the thing. Uh, so at the start of his turn, he just gets up on the top of the ladder. He hasn't, but okay. he's out of movement. So he's moved here and okay. up the ladder. Uh, the other two just proceed to slaughter uh, anyone who isn't up on a, on the top uh, level yet. So that's six more dead. Lord. All right, we're gonna, it's just like we have to fight this thing and now we're on the roof of it, right? It seems mm -hmm. like it. We yep. trapped ourselves. Uh, I'm gonna just try and shoot it with my crossbow. Ooh, then. sorry, no. Um, yeah. there. This is also the round where uh, Mokmuk shows up. Oh. So yeah, exactly. there is there is a chance. Uh, I didn't factor that into the 50-50. Uh, I don't think it would have actually climbed up to you. Instead, I think interjecting that it would have had it not been for uh, the... You know the chief, uh, you know the warrior matriarch herself to show up, um, and draw the attention of this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so we'll, they will we'll, we'll they will rain. do battle. Great. Well, and we'll, we'll rain fire on it from above. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Awesome. The the uh, nineteen. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing is that my own stat block for uh, Mokmek was actually a Minotaur, so it works out oh. pretty well. Uh, oh. So yeah. it's kind of a, nice. it's kind of the yeah. same uh, and this valid is battle injured. stats. Yeah. Uh, does uh, 19, does 19, 19 hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The good thing is that their armor is as strong as chainmail, so it's not necessarily mm. super okay. brutal. Uh, D6 damage on it. Three points of damage to the monitor. Okay. Mm. 22. Because okay. uh, Ganadri can't really do much. He's just got a dagger. Um, yeah, can uh, Ganadria charm? <laughs> you know. Fear it, charm it, do sleep, sleep it, puppet it, anything. She has got a uh, hypnotize actually, but I don't know if that is. Uh, Yo, that's that really PhD. good. <laughs> hypnotize yeah. is really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so I'm not so used to these. Where is hypnotize? Hypnotize is a single target up to three hit dice, and oh. uh, okay. it, it's kind of automatic unless um, they get disturbed and they have a save. Um, I'm just wondering if this has more than three hit dice. This has more than three hit dice. Uh, normally, like, I don't want to reveal this stuff, but, like, again, from Tally's uh, tactical assessment, I think that's pretty easy to yeah. pass on. <laughs> the fact that this thing did not even care that it got shot with an arrow yeah. is, like, is enough for everyone yeah. to be conveyed. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, yeah. I mean, Ganadri can't really do anything. She's got a dagger, and she's not going to throw yeah. it away at yeah. this stage. No, she can just, just, just uh, hunker down. That's fine. Um... My mighty deed is going to be to. Uh, I'm gonna try and lacerate across the forehead and then drain blood into its eyes so that it has disadvantage on attacks. Yeah. There we go. Impugn its attacks. Impugn its attacks. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Oh, uh, again. <laughs> I just. I have not hit a mighty deed with this character yet. Oh. No. Okay. Well, D8 plus 4 damage. There's another 6 damage to it. Okay. Okay, and I'll take my shot for the round. Yeah, magic missile? Yeah. That's another hit. For well, 1 damage. Okay. okay. Alright, uh, who of you wants to take over... Rolling damage for Mokmek and and being responsible for for this. Uh, 
I could I mean, do I it. That's fine. Oh, go on. Yeah, get Lauren. Lauren, you can. Yeah, okay. On. Okay. Right. Yeah. Here's what, Lauren. You and I, we're going to the way rather than like doing my turn attack, they attack and resolving it. We're yeah. just going to do like a a test of strength, and whoever beats each other does damage to the other. Okay. Okay. What do you want me to roll? Uh, so you're going to be rolling a d20 plus six. D20 plus six. And so you're fighting for 19. for the Hello. the goat men. Oh, oh, it's a tie. tie. Okay, so it's it's yeah, it's it's a per it's the perfect bind. It's the perfect clash of of you know axe. Well, I guess they have a shield, so it's like it's like battle axe and shield versus great axe. And yeah, they're just locked. No one does damage to each other. Uh, it's okay. perfectly perfectly tied. Um, okay. cool. Uh, and yeah, they're just cursing at each other, being like, like, you know, you're yeah, we will destroy you. Uh, and you're kind. Uh, awesome. Uh, then the I'm minotaur just roars in range. Go. I keep shoot, shooting my crossbow yeah. down there. Uh, uh, I miss six more. Um, beastmen die. By the way, so hmm. by the way, that's the murder tally at twelve. Uh, uh, I'm going to on the same the one that we're trying to attack. I am going to uh, uh, my mighty deed is I'm going to try and sever the arrow through the tendons across the top of its shoulder, so it can only swing the great axe one handed. Okay. Yeah. 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 When you feel hit the mighty deed, but Keep hitting, one day. Mighty deed. yeah. All right. So, so this one, this one fighting Mogmek is like literally like a porcupine at this point. <laughs> uh, six another damage. six damage to it. Okay. And I think if a uh, Mogmek looks to be like a contender, I'm going to uh, cast protection from evil on him. Maybe give him advantage on it. Sorry, give that would, his opponent's yeah. disadvantage on these tests. That would work. Yeah, that would work. These things are absolutely okay. chaotic. Oh, a success. Oh, it's, oh, it's a crit. Oh, it's, it works okay. on multiple people. Or twice as uh, long. I will... You double the see, effect. we're not at threat right now. I could do it at one of us if it comes to it. But I think it's a... You gotta choose now. Oh. I double the length. Double the length. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it a focus? It is focus. Okay. Uh, I would allow for a crit. You could focus for free for a turn. Okay, I'll do that. Or, or you could double the effects pass. and keep it on focus. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One guarantee passes. Cool. All, All right. right. That's like kind of like doubling the duration guaranteed is like my thought. So. Okay. Yeah. That All works right. for me. Okay. Is it the? Are we doing the thing again? Yeah, we're doing a, a clash, but then I'm going to, but I, th I think with 12, uh, with 12 of them dead, I'm going to have to determine whether or not they're going to start going up the towers or turning around and seeing this, the fight okay. against the champion. You know what I mean? All right. So okay. duel of, all right. Test of, uh, <laughs> test of might. Another 19 for me. Uh, six. Gets out with advantage. Okay. Uh, doesn't, doesn't oh, the uh, advantage. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. No. Nine, no. <laughs> okay. Even better. Okay. Oh, no, uh, no, no, so no. the nineteen. Oh, uh, mock, all right. So mock mech will take damage. Um, so he'll be taking eighteen. Uh, he has thirty-four hit points, by the way. Oh, okay. Right. Well, let's let's try and finish. So he won't survive another. <laughs> could not survive another hit like that. But on, let me before uh, be before you do before you go. I need to roll uh, just to determine the uh, yep. if these guys will assist them go up the towers. Uh, so I'll say uh, on a one, they go up the tower they came from. On a two, they go up the other tower. On a three or a four, they go assist and fight uh, Mach Mech because that's like the biggest group. Uh, and then mm -hmm. on a five or a six, they go after you because you guys are also doing damage. Okay? okay. So yeah. uh, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I think so. Oh, that sucks, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of them. All right. One of them will go assist, assist Mogmek, and then one's going after you. They are ignoring the towers. That really sucks. I'm really. Okay. Uh, okay. So it goes. Um, we, I mean, that's. Are we going to try and keep fighting, or are we going to try? No. And uh, one of them is going to go up and go against Mogmek, and then the other one's going to be going against you. Uh, so the other one has to spend its turn to get up the ladder, which is like kind of buying the time, but there's enough time for this thing to run. It, it Basically, you watch it charge, it's close enough. right? It's it close charges. Enough yeah. It's going to charge into the rank of the Thanes and into the into Mogmek, right? Mm -hmm. So um, um, so it will attack, but it will have disadvantage. Mm. Um, 
23 will hit mock mech. Great. At least it wasn't a crit on a freaking charge. Um, so that's another. I I think we need to drop a grappling hook and rope and go does on that, the edge. And... Does that kill him? Does that kill, does that kill Mach Mech? 32. 32? No, he's got one hit point left. 18, no. yeah. 18 no, plus 14? Yeah. yeah, it's 32. It's okay. <laughs> All right. He's still alive. Or she's still alive. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Conda. Do we need okay. Um. Oh lord, is there any way? <laughs> so this is a minotaur blocking the stairs now, right? Yes. Um, we need to rappel down or something. Man, we're not going to get away from these things. I think this is this is <laughs> quits for this is it for us, right? I don't know. I don't know. Is any way out of this situation? Um, well, if you had a grappling hook and a rope, you could drop it over the edge, and we could just go down, and then we just try to run, 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 run. Yeah. Okay. That's what. That's what I'm going to try. I'll use my grappling, grappling hook and rope, and try and get get down from here, and try and get away as far as I can from this tower. And Ganadria will, uh, will follow me. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should, maybe we should scatter. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. all run in different directions. Yeah. yeah. Summer cheeks, I'll wave that torch and go. Oh yeah, direction. summer cheeks uh, <laughs> definitely needs a morale <laughs> test. That's for sure. But, I mean, there's nowhere they can go, but like they they will they are automatically yeah. are running. Let's yeah, we're that all way. going. We're, we're I think we're all going down the rope as best yeah. we can. Okay. We're running. Um, for you all to do this. Uh, I'm going to need you to make dexterity tests uh, to okay. drop down the rope the when, on your turn to, to flee. The question is whether not whether or not you take damage from falling from this. It's whether or not it takes your whole turn to get down. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna roll it with advantage because I'm a thief. Sorry. No. Let me. I will. Let me offer. Let me. Let me open that up as a choice. Um, mm -hmm. If you fail, you can choose to take the twenty points or two d six falling damage. And then be able to run and get that extra move space ahead. Or you can choose to take your whole time to go caution, uh, carefully if you fail that dex check. Does that make sense? I, I yeah, can't afford to clear? take uh, 2D, two, I can't afford yeah. to take 2d6 damage, yeah. so I've just got to... Yeah. 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 Is it a grit test? Yeah, grit dex or... for you, if that's the, the case. Okay. This is dex not... This is, this is one of those rare oh. cases where I think quickly going down a building with a rope is not strength. Okay, yeah. I'm Even though it kind of is, like, I don't know. Like, don't worry about it. Tag. I'm using, um, I'm going to use my luck to reroll that. Yeah, you need a 12. Uh, okay, I got an 18. All right. Go. Well, I got a minus <laughs> one. Oh. Okay. Uh, you're going to take your whole turn to get down. I, I hit a, I, I rolled a 20. I am, yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I, grab, can I grab him as he, as he walks? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a, a, a bonus, uh, check like that, but. I, I'm I'm Lego lasting it, and I, yeah. I just kind of slide down with one hand. Yeah, thematically, I mean, I mean, thematically, I like the idea that uh, he starts to stall, and there's no time, so you're the one who helps move them down. You know what I mean? But it still ends yeah. up taking kind of the same time. Like, yeah, actually, oh, that looks like, looks nice. Yeah, I was actually blocking you in the first place uh, yeah. until you did that. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Roll as well. Um, yeah. What's is seven a uh, seven minus two, isn't it? Yeah, it might is it minus two. Uh, yeah, she can't. She Whole can't turn. Oh, yeah. And summer cheeks. Oh, summer cheeks. Um, plus plus two. two. He's got a plus two. One summer cheeks. All right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> he All right. Over. In a different campaign, that, that would be funny to say that they just die there, but no, it's not. No, they also get the proficiency of competency. Um, the ba the blessing of competency. So they will also take their turn getting down. Okay. okay. So it's only it's only Taliana and Kondak who've managed to make it down, make it any distance away. Okay. I yeah. mean, you agreed to split up and flee. Don't wait for us. I believe uh, this movement is the same round that the the Minotaur right. took to get up the ladder anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um. Then here's what I'm willing to say. I'm willing to say you all will make it back safely. 
but the uh, outcome of this is un undetermined. Hmm. Like you won't, you won't, you have to hear about it later. Okay. Uh, as you uh, eventually all make your way back through like the ruin plaza or something like that, mm -hmm. or you know. Okay. Okay. So we beat a hasty yeah. retreat, but we don't know what ha we know, we're not going to know what happened. And... Yeah. No. yeah. Because because um, of the hasty there's retreat, now free, there's the now thought. three three minotaurs roaming the city of Ardenvall, most most mm -hmm. likely. Uh, the and real question is whether <laughs> the real question is whether or not the spider silk farm is still going to be around. Oh. That's the real question, isn't it? That's <laughs> I, that's what y'all that's what I want to know. That. Yeah, no. she just raided that. Okay. Oh boy, I feel I feel really bad that we, they they mm. moved. They had a lovely new spot, and it was yeah. just totally totally destroyed because of my. Eventually, Rude. they would have opened the door and gone down, and then it's true. It's true. We Eventually, just, we just expedited the process of their demise. It's just that simple. We don't know the outcome. We might come back and they're farming minotaurs uh, yeah. next time <laughs> instead of spiders. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we beat feet back to the room plus. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Should we take a little break? Yeah, that's a good time for take a quick little break. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll right. we'll See you in about five. Okay. We're, it is a comedy of errors. Well, I don't know, man. It's just art and vol. Sometimes you stumble upon a massive treasure, and sometimes you stumble upon a art. trio of minotaurs. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, it's just like, damn. It's it's the game. That's I just want to know if I was, if they were lurking down that, that, that area the whole time, waiting for us, or if that was like a, a unfortunate random encounter. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You have to ask Jabalba. I'll have to, yeah, if <laughs> I'm on, um, so I think we're maybe thinking maybe we'll try our luck in the pyramid, pyramid of Thoth. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. I was really worried about Gelatinous Cubes. Kondax had to run in the journal with Gelatinous Cubes today, but I think we're thinking maybe we could check out this area to the north. If we head down the pyramid, maybe check out this area to the northwest mm -hmm. with the undead in maybe we can grab some of those feathers from from room six mm -hmm. we've heard i've heard we've heard rumors or we've or evidence that there's uh baboons around there i think or there's, maybe there's some sort of connection there well somewhere around there mm -hmm. um i could be could be wrong about that I feel less saying that out loud. I feel less confident about it. Um, this uh, section with the bridge next to the dust elemental. How did you guys find out about that? Was that from going into the room, or has this blocked corridor been cleared or something? I'm not sure. I think I missed that session. I'm not sure what session it was in when people. I don't think we've cleared the corridor. Up. I don't know if it's dust. I don't know if it's dust elemental was destroyed or people just ran through the room. We could clear. We could clear. This. I mean, I've got a pickaxe. We could clear yeah. this corridor. Sure, it's another option. I'm very curious about what is to the east. Mm -hmm. um, uh, sorry. Um, just are we are we still speculating on what to do? Like you guys are like at the top of the pyramid or whatever. Like game slightly kind of paused as we're figuring out what's going on. Yeah, I think we're okay. gonna. Should we head? Should we head into the pyramid and and then let's see what the situation is, and maybe we should, maybe yeah. we should uh, maybe we should head to this blocked corridor and see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. But let's head. Yeah, let's head. Into, I think we should. I think we're gonna head into the pyramid. Yeah. 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 Definitely. If there are no okay. baboons on top of the pyramid. Yeah. There, <laughs> there's no. No. Uh, there's no baboons. Uh, I think every animal in sight has heard the roar of these minotaurs and the slaughter, uh, and has uh, decided that today they're taking a paid mm -hmm. paid time off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, so. they're not around uh instead do we need a what do we need a uh, light audit um yeah light audit yeah okay, okay. it's two to get down or one uno uh just to get down the great 350 foot part of the stairs you guys uh manipulate will... go ahead yeah i'll burn an oil flask for that nice cool we manipulate the statue at the top uh, the stairs open up. Down we go. Mm -hmm. You get to the mezzanine. No one's there. Uh, you get down, and then you go to the 350 feet down uh, with all the graffito. Mm -hmm. Anything? Any graffiti could catch our eye as we're shifting down here? Anything new? Uh, yeah. In in Goblin, 
there's some? I don't think anyone here speaks speak. Goblin. I think we can speak Goblin. No. Can can I, can I just speak Goblin? Okay. Uh, well, whatever the Goblin is, uh, it's um, overlaid on top of older graffiti, and the older graffiti says Plumthorn Rules. So. Oh, okay. Ah. So probably, probably says Whiskey and Rules, or Food Swiper Rules, yeah. or Killick Rules. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Nice to know they're making themselves at yeah. home. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, down we go. Uh, into the great debouchement of the Halls of Thoth. It's as quiet as the grave. Open? And the uh, the portcullis is open. Um, it is open. It is open, and the uh, good old uh, couple goblins poke their heads out. Hmm. Uh, goblins I, I you haven't seen over, before. So, say, hey, it's, it's us, the Vulgarians. Don't shoot. Oh. <laughs> Yo, look at these guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty we're pretty pretty uh pretty impressive, huh? Hmm. Alright. You coming this way? Day. Yeah. Oh uh, quite uh, quite a day or quiet day? No, quite quiet quite a day. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ran into a little trouble on the surface, but uh <clears throat> <laughs> so, food swiper around? How he yeah. wasn't? He's not been around for a few days. I heard he got. I heard yeah. he nearly got eaten by a gelatinous cube. Is that true? Uh. Nah, nah. He's down. He's down in the in the courts. He's hanging out with Kiz, uh, Killick. Oh right, yeah. He's a important yeah. guy now, right? I guess so. yeah. hobnobbing it with the uh, the big wigs. Yeah. What, did you, what did you do to get stuck? Uh, stuck watching up he's... here. <laughs> he's, he's, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> just are you are you coming through or what? You change the subject. Yeah, we just want to have a little poke around uh, back there, if you don't mind. We're quite good at that poking around. <laughs> sure. I right, just yeah, we can go to seventeen and try mm -hmm. and clear that blockage. Yeah, let's have a look at let's have a look at seventeen. Mm hmm. Uh, so yeah, so there's a bunch of these, uh, there's, sorry, not a bunch, there's three open sarcophagi, completely looted. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, in the ancient, <laughs> ancient history, aka, uh, you know, a couple months ago, there's, like, some ruined, uh, halfling-sized furniture, uh, and things like that. A lot of broken glass on the ground. And you can see all, out of the corridor, um, across the way to, uh, that there are some other large platform building. You can see there's a couple doors mm. extending off as well as the baboon statue sitting of Thoth mm -hmm. with his hands down. Hmm. Uh, this, this blocked corridor. Mm -hmm. um, it's I, not... It, it, let me... Let me yes, let me, let me rephrase what it is. Uh, it is not blocked in the same sense that like, oh, it's collapsed, right? It is sealed with brick right. and mortar. Mm. The stones are off color from everything else you can tell. So it's perfectly excavatable, but I just wanted to be clear that it's somebody. Now, how, how, how mad are the goblins going to be if we smash this open? Without a planning permit? <laughs> Are there, are there some goblins here with us? At the moment? No. Yeah, but no, they don't have planning permits up here. Yeah. Well, I just I don't even know them. It's just they... I'll throw the coins <laughs> at them if they if really need be. It's fine. Oh, that's how okay. planning works in Ireland yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Uh, so, do you want me to? Should I? I've got a pickaxe. Should I get out my pickaxe and start mm -hmm. yep. removing this? Why not? Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Sure. Uh, cool. I'll peek my head out the other gap nah. to keep an eye on what might be in the chasm. Yeah, idea, yeah, that's the big reason for protesting that you're going to get mm -hmm. when you bring out the pickaxe and you get started. Is that totally can do it, time passes, but they're going to be like, don't do it, you're going to bring up the dang cave squids, or worse. Can no, we eat on. the cave squids? Do they taste good? No. 
I would never eat one of those things, and I would literally eat anything. Uh, um, they're not they're not real. Have you seen them? Like up close? I, uh, no, we try and stay as far away yeah. as we can from those things. Yeah, they're they're weird. Um, whatever that means. What hmm. I'm wondering is if they if they're getting agitated about this. Um, I mean. This is this this northeast bit, right? It's, this is open anyway. So I'll, yeah. I'll point that out to them. Like this, this where this is blocked here. I don't know why it's blocked, friends. Yeah. But if the cephalopods, sorry, that's probably too big a word. If the squids want to get in here, they're just going to come. They're just yeah. going to come through there. So yeah, I but mean, they. See what it makes. Yeah, but if you're making a bunch of noise, then they're going to be more attracted to it. So just don't. That's don't don't rock the boat. Yeah. Don't bounce well, on the I'm mushroom. Pretty... I've got a little, a little saying that I, I like. You, got, you have to, you have to break some eggs to make an omelette. The hell's an egg? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if they're worried right. about it, I'll toss look, them some nah, toys and say, "Look, look you get, you're, you get it you're on your own. Look, look, you're on your own. You're on your own. Do it." But what, I, what I would say is, you should get some nets put up here. You know, this part of the room. Get some nets put up there. You, you can. You're the there. rich one. You're the rich ones. You build the nets. Well, look, here's, here's like, here's 10 gold pieces. Go and buy some nets and get them set up. I, I can't, can't have all the solutions here. You should, if you showed a bit of initiative, maybe you wouldn't be up here. Look out, you'd be down there with Food Swiper. Food Swiper showed initiative, right? And now look at him. He's, he's one of the top, top dogs <laughs> of Killick. That could be you. You could take these 10 gold pieces and you could, you could turn that. You could become next in line after Food Swiper. How about that? Have you thought about that? He throws the coins back at you and says, like, I don't want your charity or advice. If I see your face walking around, I will stab it. And he goes goes and leaves. Uh, bad reaction result. Sorry. <laughs> your, your I did, the persuasion I wanted to see if he was motivated, and now uh, he was antagonized instead. Okay. Well, uh, as long as he's left. <laughs> I, even gave, I even gave you a plus one for such uh, strong rhetoric and appeals to uh, strong male role models. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted him to make something of his life, you know. Okay. Uh, anyway, so let's 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 continue. You can't let's, save let's them all, try. man. As a teacher, you can't save yeah. them all. <laughs> yeah. And let's let's hope this this, this may attract the philopods. This may attract spiders. I know that we can deal with them better than we can deal with yes, dinosaurs. Yes, definitely. That is right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To be clear, the goblins will not come to your aid if the worst came to worst. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Who needs them? Uh, excavating, we go. We'll just say time passes, which uh, which means we will burn through a whole uh, light round to do this. Okay, I can cover that again. All right. Cool. Cool. Reset the time. Okay, uh, and we'll squeeze through. Right. I don't mind in the way again. Yeah, as you uh, well, actually, what happens? What happens <laughs> is as you uh, break through the corridor here, hmm. uh, you hmm. uncover uh, a large rat nest. Uh, but the rats don't care. They squeak away and they don't want to deal oh, with you okay. and they, they start fleeing okay. instead of they don't want to fight. Dude, I just jab at them with my pole. Yeah. Get, get, get out. <laughs> and then they, they skedaddle. Try and flick one of them into the chasm. <laughs> get <out of> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah, you get one for sure. Uh, you hear a cephalophobic. Like, yeah. Yeah, it like, never hits the it never hits the bottom. All right. That's um, your one XP, Thaliana. Mission hey. accomplished. <laughs> All right. Uh the corridor is no longer blocked. Uh, it reveals a um, ten foot wide passageway, uh, interspaced. Yeah, there's another ten foot wide passageway. That's, I mean, I'm being generous here with ten feet because it's actually partially collapsed into the cavern. The door mm -hmm. uh, to the left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's twenty feet up, and then connects to the that door. Cool. We don't open uh, this door, right? The no. Door. no, 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 no. So uh, let's. I'm going to cautiously go tapping, tapping my pole, uh, and we'll check. We'll check this door uh, on the left uh, just mm -hmm. to see if it is locked. Or yeah, let me check. Wrapped or anything like that. Yeah, it's hella locked. 
Um, not okay. um, magically. Uh, it's mundanely locked. So how did how did how, how did the rest of the party get in here before? Or get where? Into get to twenty one. Oh, um, to get to twenty one. Uh, player wise, I know because I was there uh, with Julia. Player wise, it was a potion of gaseous form to float across, and then some really daring uh, rope climbing to get back. Okay, didn't just yeah. think to knock down this corridor. Okay. Yeah. Now there is the uh. To continue, there is a narrow passageway I'm drawing in blue here that you can walk mm -hmm. to, and there is a bridge that connects to the other side over here mm -hmm. on the top in orange. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a... Obviously, a this, this bridge. Is thing is, is webs, spiders. I'm going to have a, a peer. I'm going to peer down there and have a listen to see if I hear any scuttling spider movements, anything like that. Um... Yeah, you don't hear anything from above, but there, you also see there's webs above, or, or below, but there's webs above you. There's webs above. I mean, I could, I could again, I could hurl an oil flask yeah. down there. Um, clear those webs, maybe. If we're uh, worried about an ambush, maybe I could throw a speculative sleep up there. That, hmm? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You could just sort of sleep in that area and see if any okay. if spiders okay. drop into the chasm. Um, these webs, hold on, oh. uh, uh, to, okay. Oh, no, it's not good anyway. Uh, it didn't like matter. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I would point out, uh, the nest in these webs is, uh, quite, uh, expansive. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I don't think there's anything that would give away the size of these spiders. Okay. Uh, you all are staring out here near the bridge, looking up at these webs. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say that these webs aren't just retain, um, constrained to this top corner. You can see they definitely like have expanded kind of out in sort of a, you know, granulated, you know, the density is obviously mm -hmm. more in the corner, but it's, you know, it radiates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a gradient out. Is that a thing? Um, yeah. Yeah. Is anything caught in the webs? Like, are there any? Oh yeah, there's a ton of human-sized co uh, cocoons. Um, oh yeah. Uh, the I guess the the first sign of like the size of these spiders is that oh yeah, their their mandibles are like the size of short swords, mm. like a gladius <clears throat> would. And uh, if I, if I do, do I think if I put a torch to these, it's, it's all going to go up or? Um, probably not. Yeah, I think it's a little too thick and wet. That you will get some of them, but you're not going to burn them all away. Hmm. Slow and steady, quietly across. I find a door. If you start burning them, though, you would definitely draw notice. Mm -hmm. draw right now, it's not sure whether or not they've noticed you. That's mm -hmm. what I would say. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, Kondak is going to very cautiously try and go across this bridge. Then. Okay. His no, eye, no roll. An eye on the spiders. Okay. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think a roll is necessary. Let me just double check. Okay. I'll follow whilst the going is good. <laughs> I'll send the hirelings across and then go last. <laughs> and then the spiders come out. Yeah, it is a narrow stone bridge that spans the chasm. Chasm. Oh, I assume it's like a rope bridge or something. Okay. I know, me too. But I just read that it's actually stone. Ooh, it's it is in fairly good condition, is it, or is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, if you had to fight on that bridge, you would still okay. risk falling. Mm. Absolutely. But, um, Absolutely. Um, okay. Uh, um, okay. We're on the other side safely for now. Okay. Uh, uh, you can see that there are uh, at least three doors. Um, in fact, you're basically, as you cross the bridge, Kondak, you are standing in front of, oh, there's an additional door here. Um, so there's actually four. Uh, to the left of the door to the north, there is a concealed door. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no one has tried any of these doors up here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so when you say it's when you say it's concealed, like is it concealed in a way that only a thief would have seen it, or is it just concealed because no one had seen it? Thief. Like we couldn't see it from the angle. It's a thief thing. Thief skills, yeah. Okay, so I I'm always as a thief, I'm always in favor of opening the concealed and secret doors. Yes. <laughs> in yeah. Frames, I agree. The doors. Uh, yep. Um. So I'm going to take a look at this concealed door. And uh, see if it can be opened. Uh, if it's trapped, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so it def this one um, actually has it's it's part of a mural and it features a crescent moon shining down on an ibis. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's directly to the left of the door, not not. Uh, based on yeah, uh, based on the mechanisms as you're looking at how to open this door, you could definitely try to force it open here. Um, but it's it looks like the mechanisms here are all are all uh, like complicated and tied to something else, like not like a locking mechanism here. Oh, oh, I wonder if it, I wonder if they're tied to the. Uh, there's a statue here, here, right? Um, mm -hmm. And did, so I'm gonna have to take a look at the statue. Um, does it look like the statue? Because you've seen other statues in this. This, I mean, what, what what type of statue is it? First of all, um, the statue in this room. Yeah, uh, it's a massive statue of solid basalt. So, like a, I think that's a igneous rock, like black gray, of uh, of Thoth uh, squatting on his knees, drawn to his chest. His arms are bowed, and his uh, he's a baboon, baboon headed, uh, and he, so his paws and hands rest on his knees. Uh, the arms can be um, moved from the knee. Yeah. Uh, they can either be set to knee, they can be set to up, or they can be set to face. Hmm. And I think Vulgarians would probably remember that was... Um... That was like the third one that was needed to unlock the main mm -hmm. statue by the stairs coming in with all the coins beneath it. Um, I can describe the, uh, there's, there are three murals in total in this area. I could describe the other ones as well. So uh, the mural that I described initially, I'll repeat, and then I'll describe uh, where you're seeing the other murals as well. The first mural you're seeing shows a, a crescent moon shining down on an ibis. Uh, the next mural is right here in blue. And then the third mural is here in blue. So crescent moon is here in C, right? Thank you. And this would be this middle one here. Uh, this one depicts a baboon clubbing a crocodile. <laughs> and then the one on the bottom depicts a single blue eye. Um, on the on the doors that aren't concealed, are there any images? On the doors that aren't concealed, are there any images? Um, yeah, let me... so like these, yeah. the, these, the three that aren't. So if you found a concealed door. Uh, uh, all of the images, yeah, so these walls, in addition to the murals, there are images all over these walls of um, magical gnostic style thing so like think kind of like tarot moons phases baboons pentagrams fibonacci sequences you know that kind of um, stuff okay and can can conduct detect any other concealed doors aside from that that one we found on the northern wall if he no um along the eastern wall each of these murals that I just described to you is a concealed door. Right. Mm. All similarly tied to, uh, uh, they can be forced open, but require a, a mechanism or, or not require, but um, mm. designed to open with a mechanism, like a condition. 
And there's no inscriptions in this room or on the walls or on the statue. No inscriptions, only the um, semiotics. Like, there, like, it doesn't take a wizard to know that these are all, like, kind of, like, Thothian magical things. <laughs> um, hold on. There's another paragraph here. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, there are three normal doors here. Uh, and they are all um, magically held closed. So I reckon we've got to we've got to do something with the statue to yeah. open them. Right? So we know where there's an Ibis statue. Um, when we look at the um, you said a moonlight crescent moon shining on Ibis. How is the Ibis positioned? Uh, the Ibis is positioned just... rampant, like, facing to the left. Okay. Hmm. Profile. Okay. And there's nothing, there's nothing, if I look at this southern wall, there's nothing here, is there no... Yeah, no, there's nothing there. And they're all magically do we, locked. Do we force a concealed door? <laughs> or yeah. brute force it? Or do we start running back and forth to play with the statues. The, the statues. Yeah, the statue here in front of mm -hmm. you, the thought, this Thoth statue is obviously manipulable in its hands. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there were definitely, uh, in previous events, there were like certain poses for the statue that were associated with mm -hmm. different representations of Thoth. Like the baboon one had a certain pose and the scholar one had a certain pose and stuff like that, but I can't remember mm -hmm. the notes about that. Like, can we make, manipulate this statue so that it mimics the baboon clubbing a crocodile? Like, is that... Like, if it has, like, um, a right hand up with a club that it's going to yeah. be down, then we move the right arm up and see what happens. Because it's a baboon yeah. statue. Seems right. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Try that. <laughs> try, that. try to make the baboon form of Thoth of th th look like a clubbing a crocodile. Yeah, the same arm as... What's mm -hmm. in the representation and, and so on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the right arm will open uh, one of these concealed doors. Oh. And it will be uh, the right arm raised. Uh, it is the one with the crescent moons. So this northern door opens. Uh, okay. Grinds and opens up uh, revealing a 10 foot cell and Ooh. oh no yeah uh the cell is not empty um revealing okay. to you is a ibis headed uh spectral figure uh messenger um you've seen one of these before or when i say spectral i should say more like almost like a quasi ethereal like there's a slight glow okay. around them You've seen these mm -hmm. before, or at least one of these before, uh, that was guarding the treasures. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. And oh. It's, it steps forward and looks at, uh, what, the five of you and tilts its head and says, uh, in, I guess, yeah, I guess it would call out in Mithric. Like an order, and it would say, like you know, announce yourselves. Hmm. I can understand Mithric as well, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. uh, announce ourselves. Uh, 
um uh, i think i feel like there's probably cognates between ancient archonte and, and or like you know that kind of mythric mm -hmm. and one and you definitely hear one that says you know be gone thieves and i think probably thief probably stuck mm. around <laughs> so uh you yeah, it's pretty accusatorial uh from the guardian mm -hmm. here that could also be associated with a no. massive treasure yeah. like the other one yeah so mm -hmm. explain yourselves are you thieves is basically what it's ordering right it's assessing you all um tell it that we are stone engineers i don't know yeah, uh, yeah. I, i'm not, not a liar I don't... <laughs> inspection osha inspection <laughs> yeah. uh i'll say we are not thieves we are honest explorers uh we're sorry to have disturbed you This is a holy place. Uh, um, you get the impression if you don't leave, it will force you to leave. Maybe we should, maybe we should start. Yeah. Backing we away. <laughs> yeah, we'll go across the bridge. Sure. Yeah, actually, if we're all backing away from the door, I'll pull the arm on the statue to try to reclose that door if possible say so, uh, don't mind us we'll be leaving now uh it's still it's it's stepped out of the the cell you do you do put the thing back you're like sorry sorry so you know <laughs> <laughs> my bad my bad uh but it's it's just watching you uh like a stern principal mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Compact's going to be heading for the bridge and <laughs> yes. bowing and scraping as he goes. <laughs> yeah. You reverently retreat. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Seems like a job for Leper Lopper. Did he, uh, does, it follow, does it follow us or does it just kind of watch us sternly as we... Uh, it, it watches you. Okay. Does he go back into his chamber eventually or, or we've loosed another... I don't know how long you wait. <laughs> uh, I I feel like there's a hold on a second. I have to, I, I actually I should roll for this. Hang on a second. Okay, no, you're you're okay. There's no curious goblins. <laughs> okay, you're good. Uh, you make it you make it over just fine. Um, there's no goblins here to har harass or harangue you. Uh, but um, you're good. Boy, everywhere we've gone tonight has just been yeah. dead end. We've done some great research for uh, mm -hmm. far more powerful people. We did injure, we wounded a minotaur. Or is it minotaur? Or is it monitor? I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Yeah. Depends on what side of the Atlantic you're from. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just wondering if we've done if we've done it. Have we done enough to get get a uh, Taliana her one XP? Yeah, you've definitely done enough to get <laughs> yeah. one XP. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. That's yeah. be a disaster. If that would be a real disaster, if we had even yeah. one XP. Yeah, no. you're getting you're getting at least partial experience for the Minotaur fight. Mm -hmm. Like truthfully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got about fifteen minutes. Do we? Do we want to? Do we want to call it there? Do we want to try and see if there's <laughs> anything else we can poke out? I feel like we get into this crypt area. It's gonna be. Um, it could be. You can. It's gonna get complicated. I mean, I was gonna suggest if we hadn't got any XP, I was gonna suggest go, going into this like these alcove areas and just trying to grab some some random alcoves. But um. Mm. Were they fully probably... cleared before or not? They've not been. They've not really been fully cleared. No, but not fully cleared. The problem is. There's this sort of satire area over here. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm a bit a bit worried that they might have that they have set traps in this debouchement area before. Mm. Possible they, they would have done so again, and it would really cap the night for one of us to just stumble into a poison trap, you know? Yeah. Uh, trying to grab together a few coins. <laughs> uh, because we have looked, we've looked through these archives a bit, and there wasn't we didn't get mm -hmm. amazing out of them. I don't know. No. Why. Not really, really explored them, but that just means the truly amazing treasure is still there waiting, surely. Mm. Surely, yeah. So, I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, uh, and this 
southerly section that's kind of all in blue is that well explored or are there any corners there we could just well no a it's peek in? sorry Go ahead. It, it, yeah it's sort of explored well, we've not really been here actually but this we've been this area around here the basement guard yeah. post through the here and we, obviously we've explored this area this is a tomb uh which probably has loads of treasure in it still, but it, mm -hmm. it is heavily guarded by animated creatures, animated constructs, and pr probably what looked like some and sort of powerful wraiths as well, or something, right? Undead uh, wraiths or mummies or some sort of powerful undead mm -hmm. creatures. So mm -hmm. I don't think in fifteen minutes we're going to get in there and get the stuff. If, no. Even if even if the beastmen haven't occupied this area, um, that's true. Yeah. And they're, they're, the beastmen are like not. Like one beastman isn't hard on paper, but when they're running around six to eight of them mm -hmm. yeah. using their like squad tactics with their flashbangs, <laughs> yeah. yeah, their yeah, fire yeah. resistance potions, they're, they're kind yeah. of XCOM vicious. Beast yeah, they really do. They literally they're playing XCOM against you. You are the aliens in XCOM. You are. <laughs> <laughs> they're very frustrating. Yeah, it's, like an, it's like an XCOM where you've got like you know you got like a ninety five yeah. percent yeah. chance of hitting, and then you miss anyway, and then they just leave yeah. you. You know, it's like it's mm -hmm. like that fighting the yeah. beastman. Um, on Venom or whatever. Yeah, okay. Well, there's always tomorrow morning. That's true. It's true. I, yeah, I'm yeah. back tomorrow. Well, tomorrow true. afternoon. Oh, is anybody playing tomorrow morning? Or, is, is that after a... or no, not not uh, the. Early, early. Not I'm really signed on for the middle one. Two, two o'clock okay, for one. all of you. Uh, ah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Again. So, bit, I think yeah. it's the three of us again. I think Patrick is joining us tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. we'll have if he's plays both, then we have a little oh, more okay. fighter. Well, I guess I'll okay. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, we, could, we could try. We could try again yeah. tomorrow. Maybe go back and get revenge on those minotaurs tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll go yeah. back. Damn. <laughs> Crazy That's session. Up. Yeah. All right. Do we need to head to? Do we want to head to Goblin Town? Yeah. Or... Do you want to go to Goblin Town, or do we want to try and get Gosterick? Gosterick. I mean, Kondak is happy. Let's go to Goblin Town. Unless Taliana's got designs on. No. Taliana can go wherever. I have no special reason to be in Gosterick, so I'm happy to stick yeah. to Goblin Town rather than risk. Dragon Roth or Minotaurs or goat herds. Okay. And it seems like it's it's more often people are camping there now these days, right? Yeah, this is a yeah. set out ambushes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well we haven't run into okay. old yeah. Oh so we haven't run that into old on assassin yet either, so All right. I mean uh... the only fifteen minute thing I could think of would be to try to take out this immobilized statue, but then would just be opening the way for that second statue. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not that's much true. Yes, yeah, we got to have a real solid good, plan for that one. Good yeah. news, we defeated the statues. Bad news, there's another one. Yeah, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, um, great. Uh, I do have a uh, political stuff to reveal at the end of the session today because it's okay. a new month. Um, okay. Oh, oh, so, yeah. Okay. So this, uh. Killick has uh, allowed or and is allowing uh, Corbo Khan um, their autonomous to go to the Lizard Halls openly in defiance of King Wiscannon. Whoa. Whoa, that's big. It is big. So this seems to be like now, now this seems to be like he's not, he's like a he's a real contender yeah. for He claims, yeah uh, he claims that it was through the aid of Corbel Khan's droids, uh, like his children, that they mm. were able to, uh, you know, free um, the shaman and uh, Lys, uh, what's her name, Lys, Lys, Lysander, Lysion, I forget it, what it is, um, as well as um, uh, Food Swiper. I mean... Mm. Kondak is like, I'm pretty sure they got out because we killed that gelatinous cube. Like this is this no. whole there's a whole spin narrative <laughs> here. And we've we've we should be getting the glory for this. I don't know, man. Truth Truth is the first person to say it in court. Mm -hmm. So I um, think you know, Patamas could be interested in this growing strength, right? True. That's his yeah, archer not, enemy, isn't it? We've not spoken to Thomas for a while. Well, I don't know if I don't uh, to be honest. Tarmis yeah. hates Kerbal Khan. I don't know if Kerbal Khan cares about Tarmis. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
We've never really we've never really spoke we've we've spoken to Carbo Kerbo Khan literally once. Um and very, you spoke very you spoke to Tar yeah. Friends. He technically spoke to Tarmus more than Kerbo Khan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's there's very, a few loose threads up there. I mean like, he he gave you guys blessing to take out this hag and there's a oh. cave and a hidden boat and all kind of stuff up there, right? Like, mm-hmm. God, the hag. It's good to have yeah. someone who's watched all the episodes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> there's so <laughs> much. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny to realize. Yeah, there's just still so much in this game that no one has. <laughs> like, we just like just yeah, didn't didn't follow up on. It's man. massive. It is so it's and so it's so massive. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, experience tonight. Before mm-hmm. we forget, um, XP share ninety eight. Nice. Gold, uh, GP share twenty six. Now uh, that the money is coming from the sack of uh, that silk sack that you found, um, mm-hmm. whether or not you sell them or not is up to you. Mm-hmm. If you do, if you then that's the them? share. I think I think we want to. I, I would I would suggest saving them. Personally. Okay. Yes. Okay. So then, I no agree. money. We don't know what they are, right? They might yeah. have some. They might have some use in that 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 strange room we found in the down the well of light. Mm. Yeah, where we found the other hex tar. There might be some use for them there. So, and also, I have a theory that someone might someone else. They might be a, might be able to trade them with someone as well. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, yeah, if you made it to out to be that lookalike or something like that, right? Yeah, oh yeah, there's. Oh, we could try and trick someone. Yeah. So the gold shared, if we're not selling them, we'll just leave that empty, right? Yeah. Congratulations, uh, Taliana. Hooray. Level, yeah. level, what is level four now? Or level, three? level three. Only level three. Level three. Yeah, but level Maybe three is a good adventure. level because you get a talent. Yep. yep. That's nice. what I'm going to do next. Let's go 12. Oh. The, oh, that, that Minotaur fight. I did not expect that to happen today. <laughs> I mean, I never expect anything, but like, I definitely didn't expect that. That was awesome. Uh, Lucky we lived. Yeah. Ooh, plus two to strength, dexterity, or constitution. Oh, very That's cool. That's a good one. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, my dexterity seventeen going to nineteen doesn't really help. One extra hit point doesn't really help, but a plus one to hit would be useful, right? Always. For okay. melee attacks and more carrying capacity. Oh yes. yeah, good point. Good point. More yeah. treasure. All right. More treasure. Cool. There we go. And so that.